This program is a copyrighted production of Indiana Sports Network and cannot be shown, reproduced, or redistributed in any way or in any form without prior written permission from Indiana Sports Network. Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. And welcome to West Terre Haute, Indiana for this afternoon's Midwest Sprint Football League Championship game. And it's St. Mary of the Woods taking on Calumet College of St. Joseph. And when you're talking about these two teams, they've played four times in the last two years. And it's been three to one with St. Mary of the Woods winning those. But this is a championship game. It will be awesome. My partner is Walter Gordon, I'm Herb King. We'll bring you all the exciting action of Midwest Sprint Football League. And again, this championship game can't be any better than these two. It really can't. And when you, you, one of the things that you love about it, Herb, is the fact that there's a budding rivalry. Only in the second year of the Midwest Sprint Football League, and already you see rivalry start to develop. This is uh, going to be, uh, you know, the fifth time these two uh, institutions play each other. Um, some hotly contested games. Uh, and I know that the uh, Christian Wave wants to get the better of the Pomeroys today. Um, it's going to be a fantastic game uh, and a sun-soaked Saturday. You can't ask for a really better. It's a little chilly, <laughs> but you really can't. You can't ask for better weather than what we have the week before Thanksgiving. And it's not too chilly. No, I it's mean, not. There's, there's not snow on the ground, no. which I current. I really like the old atmosphere of snow on the ground. A uh -huh. bit of the, you know, the old Green Bay Packers, sure. Chicago Bear kind of thing. But we don't have that. We have gorgeous have weather. That. The field is is looking really in good shape it is. for this part of the season and what's going on. And these two teams are playing their best football right at the end of the season. They really are. And uh, Cal Calumet uh, coming in with a five-game winning streak. Look at you losing your first three games, trying to figure some things out offensively. And then all of a sudden, that train starts chugging down the track and they start rolling. And I'm telling you, they've been playing some really good football um, uh, up there in Hammond, Indiana. And... and you know, they're going to be a very tough team you know, for the Pomeroys today. Of course, the teams already played each other once. Pomeroys coming in with a four-game winning streak. So both teams, you love it when they're not, you know, backing in. They're both moving forward, uh, both playing good football. Um, and setting up for a whale of a game here today. Well, they really are. And if you're looking at St. Mary the Woods, their only loss this season was to Bellarmine. Yeah. And last week, that's who Calumet that's right. beat was Bellarmine. Yeah. And when you're looking at those, th those three teams really were the cream of the crop in the conference. And yeah. uh, it ended up with uh, St. Mary the Woods being second and Calumet being third. And, but they, they, or excuse me, yeah, second and fourth or whatever. But they, they split and who plays who in the tournament and because of that St. Mary the Woods being second in the conference they hosted a game last week and when uh, Calumet beat Bellarmine last week and did so in a convincing they fashion did. they led the whole ball game uh, that set up where the host of the championship game was a higher seed and that happened to be St. Mary the Woods. You know when when St. Mary the Woods lost to Bellarmine uh, several weeks ago, I, I thought the, the chance of hosting conference championship was gone. I yeah. really did. And I was like, boy, it's going to be tough for someone to beat Bellarmine. They're going to be number one seed. They're going to host the championship game. But here we are. And uh, you, just, you just never know. You know, it's so funny. Mass may be transitive, but sports, my friend, is not. <laughs> it doesn't matter if one team beat another. You, didn't, you beat that team. That doesn't matter. You got to play that game. You got 60 minutes on the gridiron. Um, and today uh, should be a great one. Um, and I, I'm, boy, I'm really looking forward to this championship game. Well, the first time these two teams met, it was a defensive effort by St. Mary of the Woods that really dictated the flow of the ball game. They were able to close down on Calumet and really slow them down. But right now, like you talked about earlier, Calumet is playing extremely good on the offensive side. They so are. we're going to see the two premier, and I'm going to say an offense in Calumet mm -hmm. and a defense in St. Mary of the Woods. It's the immovable object for versus the movable one. Sure. Something's going to happen in this one. We're going to see what it is. It'll be a great ball game. And with that, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with more action. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. Plus Printing is your best place for uniforms, programs, T-shirts, and hats. 
plus screen printing, business printing, and documents. Get all your promotional items, including koozies and coffee mugs. Just give Kevin a call. A-plus printing does it all. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and the communities we call home. We are hiring now for trailer assemblers and welders across the country. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Build something bigger for yourself and your family with great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. Exciting St. Mary of the Woods College men's basketball coming soon to Indiana Sports Network. St. Mary of the Woods coach, Blaine Powell. Uh, you got a ball game coming up that's uh, not very important, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's real important. You know, we're it's something we've been working for, work, working for all year, and uh, you know, just we, we can't wait till Saturday. This is a, a return matchup. Last year, you two guys met for the championship. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, the regular season started off with the two of you meeting, so it's not like you don't know each other. Oh, we know each other really well. We uh, this would be what the fifth time we played them in two years. So uh, we, you know, we know them really well. They know us really well, and uh, you know, it, it's it's always such a it's such a good game when we play them. You know, it, it's one you look forward to because it really brings out. You feel like it brings out the best in our kids. It really does, and uh, you know, we have played some of our best football in those five in those four games so far against them. So, you know. We expect more of that. I mean, they're they're very well coached. They're you know uh, they're very talented. I mean, if you ask me, they they're they're truly the the second best team in the league. You know, um, coming in and we are right now. So we, we need to keep that. You know, but I, I mean, I really do feel like that. And uh, so it was uh, you know it's it's not a surprise that that's who we're playing. Quincy came out last week. Uh, a little more intense than what you expected. They didn't throw as much at the first part of the game as uh, I think you expected. They run, run, ran. Um, do you think that uh, your opponent this week will change up or, or just be more of the same? Well, I mean, they, they've changed a lot since the first time we played them. They, uh, you know, they have a new offensive coordinator, a new defensive coordinator since since we played them. Uh, defense is pretty well stayed the same. Uh, maybe change a little bit of personnel, but the, you know, offensively they've really switched. They've taken uh, their best athlete, put him at quarterback. He had been playing safety, and maybe a little wide receiver and returning kicks for him. Um, so he's at the, he's at quarterback now. They're using a lot more double tight, uh, um, two back stuff, uh, more ball control really, and, and you know they're really playing to cater to their defense more. Uh, you know, let the defense control the game, let the defense control the field position, and let them have short fields. So that's something, you know, we're going to have, you know, we haven't really faced that since Bellarmine, and Bellarmine gave us fits. So, you know, it's something that we've got to be prepared for and, uh, you know, be ready to, you know, do what we can to stop them and, and uh, you know, flip the field on them a little bit. With the familiarity between the two teams and the fact that once again it's for the championship, uh, is that the intensity to be wrapped, uh, wrapped up? Oh, sure, yeah. You know, you look at last year, the, the first two games we played, uh, you know, the difference between those two and, and the championship was just the level of intensity, the level of effort, the level, you know, it, it does. I mean, this is playoff time. That's what we've tried to tell our kids, you know, going into last week was, you know, everybody everybody is going to rise up at this, this time of year, and we have to rise up with them. And, uh, you know, I felt like the first part of that game, we really didn't against Quincy. Uh, and then, uh, you know, once we got rolling a little bit in the second half, uh, you, you kind of saw what we could do. So, I mean, it's just a matter of us, uh, you know, taking care of us more than anything is, uh, you know, playing to, playing to our level. And, uh, and, you know, I think if we do that, we're going to be fine. Yeah, you, you weren't, your team wasn't themselves last week in that game, the first half against Quincy. You had some uh, mishandling of the ball. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like, they it was going through well we're going to win this and Quincy was saying no yeah exactly you know and we, we we came out a little bit flat and, and uh, expected them to just kind of lay down and let us win the game that's not that's not football you know and and uh, you know I think it goes to maturity you know everybody on our team is really young and so they get things in their head and you know as a coach you just have to try to you know uh, you know, get the mindset different heading into this game compared to what it was last game. 
the second half, the kids kind of, okay, we got to get real on this. And yeah, the kid from uh, Riverton Park kind of, okay, I'm here, let's, let's go. Yeah, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be big all year. I mean, he's, he's been great. Uh, get on my back, let's go. Yeah, yeah, he's been great in the backfield. He's been uh, really, really good on special teams and bailed us out as a punter a few times. But, um, you know, he's just a great athlete. And, and uh, you know, we get him the ball enough and he'll, you know, eventually score and, and uh, you know, take care of things. But, you know, the best part about him is, is that he, he's just a great teammate. He, he loves the game of football and he, he loves being here and, uh, you know, it, it, it kind of rubs off on, on, on everybody else and, uh, you know, really proud of his efforts this year. Well, it's a championship game. All the marbles, the one we've been waiting for, all the action next right here on the Indiana Sports Network. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. Late and welcome back to West Terre Haute, Indiana. St. Mary of the Woods Football here on the Indiana Sports Network. It's the championship game of the Midwest Sprint Football League. And with that opportunity, we'll take one as well. We'll be right back with the coin toss and the kickoff to start this ball game. Laser engraving at its finest by Fearless Designs is now available. Cups, bats, gloves, license plates, and almost anything you desire can now be a laser engraved gift for your family and friends or a promotional item for your company. Stay on the unique cutting edge of technology. Call, text, or email Fearless Designs. You'll be glad you did. Treatment for those with mental illnesses and addiction issues has evolved over the years. In the late 1960s, Indiana's mental health system began to take shape. From 1971 to 2021, Hamilton Center has touched the lives of thousands of people in central and west central Indiana. We are committed to the latest therapies to improve the quality of life for those with mental illnesses. Treatment works. Recovery is possible. And thank you, Indiana. Today's vehicles often require additional procedures such as computer scans for even simple repairs. This ensures that your crash avoidance system and distance sensors are functioning properly. At Honey Creek Collision, we invest in the latest equipment and technology and provide continuing education for our technicians to ensure a high quality and safe repair. Honey Creek Collision is a second generation, family owned and operated business that you can trust. So when your insurance company asks, tell them you're going to Honey Creek Collision. I'm all pro running back Jonathan Taylor for York Automotive. York is my number one pick for your next car, truck, or SUV. Shop from over 600 vehicles at yorkautomotive.com today. Your number one at York. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. <laughs> Well, we've had the national anthem, and now it's time for that coin toss as we'll see these guys come out and get ready to go. Starting lineups, first of all, for St. Mary the Woods College offensively, it's Jeremiah Toski. He's been the leader all year, number nine. Number two, Patrick Perea is a running back, but, but St. Mary the Woods will rotate at least three running backs in this ball game. Wide receiver, Devron Johnson, number zero. Corbin Cleveland is number six. Calvin J.C. is number 19, and the tight end is Carlos Munoz, number eight. Left tackles, Mason Drake, number 56. Left guard, Kevin Garcia, number 53. The center is Lane Slutter, number 57. Right guard is Dylan McGrath, number 77, and right tackle is Brady Creasy. As they're getting ready to do the actual coin toss, coin toss out here, and you can see it as in a close-up there. Again, you'll see defensively, number one, Elias De Jesus, and uh, he's one of those guys, along with Austin Petrillo, number three. He's one of the captains. 57 for St. Mary of the Woods is Lane Slutter, the offensive lineman from Sullivan. And number 53 is Kevin Garcia. He's another offensive lineman, and he hails from Houston, Texas. 
and George W. Bush High School. So you're looking at players on St. Mary of the Woods, as does um, Calumet College of St. Joe from not just Indiana, but all over different right. places. A lot of Calumet College kids are going to come from near that Chicago area. Mm -hmm. They're in the region, as you say, here in Indiana. And so for St. Mary of the Woods, you'll see people from all over the country. When you, when you mention... Uh, we say the region. What do folks in Chicago say? Do they call it the region? They probably don't. What do they call it, Herb? They just say Indiana. Okay. Right. That's where the corn is. They're all excited. <laughs> so, uh, again, coin toss is won by St. Mary of the Woods. They'll defer to the second half, and we'll have Calumet College with the ball to start this ball game. Defensively for St. Mary of the Woods, Nebravo Herrera, number 97, will be the nose guard. Uh, DeBrian Bush, number 32, is an end. Nick Cr 62 is the other end. Inside linebackers are Jake Skinner, number 55, and number 10, Donovan Cherry. The outside linebackers are Josh Wentz, number 35, and Jesse Lara, number 18. The safeties are Wyatt De Jesus, number one, Austin Petrillo at number three. The corners are Jordan Foster, number 28, and Carter McKee, number 21. So St. Mary of the Woods will kick it off, and for that kickoff uh, man, uh, when we look at the kickoff specialist is Connor Wardlaw, number 95. He'll step in to kick this one off. Drake Barnes is the extra point kicker. They use two different kickers here at St. Mary of the Woods. A lot of players play in this ball game for the Woods, and uh, we'll see what happens here with Calumet College of St. Joseph. We were not given uh, too deep for Calumet College, so it's going to take us. We won't be able to give the actual starting lineup for the offensive linemen in this one for the Crimson Wave. So Calumet College of St. Joe is back in, a, in deep. Uh, appears to be number seven for Calumet College. That Kadarius Jones from Michigan City is one of the deep men, along with number 12, and that's Jacob Ullman. He's a wide receiver from South Central Union Mills. Kickoff, it's short. They get it bounding around at the 22. He holds onto the ball and he's swamped in at about the 25 yard line. Where it'll be first and 10 for the Crimson Wave. How about the atmosphere here? Just building up from uh, right before the national anthem, the teams coming onto the field, and you know the, the fight song for St. Mary's, and now the beginning of the game. This, this, this crowd is juice. This is a great atmosphere for this championship game here. Today. <laughs> You'd think we had a herd of cows out here with as Boy. many bells as being rung. Indeed. And it's the Crimson Way ball, first and ten. Ball rests at the 25. They've used two quarterbacks during the year, have the Crimson Wave, and this time they come out with... Wow. Here we go. Nino Barbosa. Wide receiver has been put in at that quarterback spot. He'll hand the ball up the middle. They go to run. There's a hole. There's a flag on the play. It looks like it's a holding call. We'll see what it's going to be. It's right in that spot where they usually call one. So hold the chains, and we'll check this one out. Barbosa has played a quarterback the last three games, and we talked about uh, the Crimson Wave trying to figure things out offensively as we wait for this uh, call. Oh. Not holding, but it is on the Crimson Wave. Very penalized team, but they've been trying to figure things out, and Barbosa uh, is uh, stabilizing that um, spot at quarterback. And then uh, this is, uh, I believe, his third uh, game. Oh, this will be his fourth game um, uh, under center. Well, for Barbosa on the year, he's throwing the ball at 40%. It has yeah. 246 yards passing, so an average of 35 yards a game. But at the same time, he has been the wide receiver. So they've gone more to that run-oriented option-style offense mm -hmm. with a Barbosa in at quarterback. A lot of shifting on the D-line for the Pomeroy's. Counter play. Here it comes. They got him off the edge, and they'll wrap him up for about a three-yard gain. That'll bring up second and 12. You know, you would look at statistically for the Crimson Wave, and you see the wave on the, the as opposed to their name above those numbers. I, I actually really like that. I do too. I, 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 that distracted me from making my point. The, uh, <laughs> the you look statistically, uh, the stats just don't pop out at you. But these, I'm telling you what, Cal, you met. They find a way. The defense is very strong, and they'll be in this game. Again, using that 
option style offense. We'll see what happens. A pistol, they'll hand it off, and they run a power play over to the left side. He'll pick up about seven, make it eight yards on the play. It'll bring up third down and about four yards. You know, that's a very nice surge right up the middle. There's no east-west. That was 100% north-south, get what you can, set up a very nice third and manageable. The running back is Elijah Antis from Ashbrook High School, school in Gastonia, North Carolina. And it's third down, and you can hear the crowd really going at it here. Antis is behind. The quarterback is Barbosa. They'll hand it. No, he, he lost keeps, the ball. Yep, it's a on the ground. On the ground. Barbosa has an oh. edge, but he's all down in the backfield. A great tackle that time, and he don't cause the fourth down play. And, uh, you know, I was just thinking on that third down. I said, boy, this is a perfect time for a quarterback keep, and that's what Barbosa was going to do, but just couldn't quite secure that one, put it on the ground. Now, Crimson Wave presumably will have to punt. Austin Petrillo steps back. He's the punt returner for St. Mary the Woods as they'll set up on this one. Punter number 18, Dante Hamilton. He'll pop this one up. Good Bear hang catch time. called for and he got it right in his son. Beautiful and with that, St. Mary the Woods will have the ball when we return for more on Indiana Sports Network. There is a greatness inside of you, a passion, a strength, a determination. So embrace it. Embrace the greatness that you bring to everything you do. Embrace the idea that you can do work that makes an impact. Work that keeps the country moving forward and our economy strong. Because not everyone has what you have. And that's exactly what connects you to all of us at Great Day. There's greatness inside of you. Are you ready to embrace it? St. Mary the Woods with the football. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Single back trips to the top of the formation. They'll hand the ball right up the middle. Going to get a gutsy play. He'll gain about two yards. This is a very stout defense that uh, the Pomeroy's are going to uh, face here. When you look at the, uh, what uh, the Crimson Wave give up, you look at the rush yards per game, the pass yards per game, defensive points per game. Uh, they're, they're right in the top of the standings, if not top of the standings. Uh, in the uh, Midwest Sprint Football League. So this is a very proud, stout, ball-hawking uh, defense. So Pomeroy's going to have their uh, work set out from today. Perea in the backfield next to Toski. He'll go to throw, yeah. but they'll yeah. have a movement. movement on the inside. It'll yeah. be a five-yard penalty, a legal procedure against the Pomeroy's, and they'll reset the chains. That'll bring up second and about 12. Pomeroy is one of the things that you look at them wanting to stay away from penalties and turnovers the two things that bit them against Bellarmine and their, um, and their single loss of the season right here at uh, Jay Barrett Field. Again, the running back for St. Mary the Woods is Perea. Patrick Perea in the backfield and again, Toski. Scrambling, trying to throw it. He'll throw it. He's got a completion and will gain about four yards when it looked like he was going to get nothing. Yeah. He ducked under a sack. The uh, defensive lineman got a little bit higher than he uh, really wanted to. And Toski was able to duck under to keep the scramble alive and uh, sets up third down. And uh, probably more than what he wants. Not much on the spot. They said incomplete? No, they gave it to him. Third and nine. Got four yard gain. Boy, I, um, okay. Sorry. Just a four-yard gain. He wasn't able to throw it downfield. We'll see what happens on this one. Three receivers at the top of the screen. Not a, not a rush this time. No Woods, he's fumbled oh, ball the football, foul. and it's picked up by St. Mary the Woods. Boy. And they're lucky on that one, and that'll bring out the punting team. Yeah, look at this. Uh, I'll tell you what, the pressure uh, that Toski was under that series was immense. So could be a, a, a foreshadowing of things to come. Uh, let's see how this uh, game plays out. But I'll tell you what, this is this is a very loud crowd. Yes, it is. It is. We're hearing everything up here. Yep. And that's a good thing. I mean, these guys want to play. They they give the opportunity to, and here we go. Sub into the ball game. They'll hold it up till everybody's ready to go. Mm -hmm. 
Back to punt. They'll get it. It's a knuckleball, and it'll roll for a little bit. Yeah. They can get it to go. Back at the 36 when the Crimson uh, when the Crimson Wave have the football. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. When you're buying a car, getting a mortgage for your dream home, taking out a personal loan, or growing your small business, you know exactly what you need. At Crane Credit Union, our personal banking experience can help you get there. We are here to make your life easier so you can focus on what really matters. Visit cranecu.org to see how we can help you reach your goals. Crane Cares, Crane Credit Union, committed to investing in you and your community. Welcome. A formation for the Crimson Tide. They'll set up, pistol in the back. Here goes the quarterback off the edge, and he's got some big yeah. yardage. Picks up 10, 12, maybe 14 yards on that one. A really nice run that time by uh, Nino Bar Barbarossa, or Barbosa, the Whiting High School native. And again, Whiting is very close to Hammond as well, yeah. so you're right in that region area. They've got some really good athletes on this team, as uh, Coach talked about earlier in that interview. I think that's what uh, they wanted to run on third down, last possession, uh, uh, right there, that uh, quarterback going to the far side. Another A formation play. You got to have that safety up to pick up the quarterback on the option. They're going to hand it a power off tackle. He's going to pick up about three. And they'll blow that one dead. They'll Calumet. give him four yards on the play. It'll be second and six. I think Calumet and Collins will take that all day long. You look at four yards on that run going right up the middle. And keeping uh, the Pomeroy defense honest, playing the whole field. Uh, but you just keep this thing on the ground, churn out yards, um, and, uh, and keep that possession. Um, they'll take that all day. Crimson Wave with the football. Again, second and six. They're going to go with that. A lot of teams use this as a short yardage, yardage mm -hmm. offense, but they're using it as their base offense right now, running the football. They're going to turn around, hand the ball to the right side. He's going to go down for no gain. Good defensive play that time for St. Mary of the Woods as they're able to drag him down for no gain. Third and six. And that's what you, you know, you think about that. You know, until the Palm Royals can stop that, you, why, why go to a different formation? And, and even when they do stop it, we might still see them. Uh, that uh, is uh, going to be something that the Palm Royals are going to have to uh, look at all, all game long, probably. And as I say that, you got a four receiver set. <laughs> Barbosa at quarterback. Wide, two by two, four receivers. They're going to throw the ball. Quick one, got it on the edge, and it's knocked down. Good defensive play yeah. by the corner that time as he comes up with a big stop, and that's number 20 in Holtman Dodes, the, uh, again, the player for St. Mary of the Woods uh, from Bruceville and North Knox High School. I think these Pomeroy quarters have got to know, especially in a situation like that, the ball's going to come out quickly, broke on that route, Contact at the point of reception dislodged the ball. Uh, once again, another punt. Deep again is Petrillo. Pooch punt. They get it up in the air, and he's got it. Oh right boy! There. Almost dropped it. And it'll be St. Mary the Woods ball when we return for more action here on Indiana Sports Network. To the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. Your All Pro running back, Jonathan Taylor, here for York Automotive. Looking for an All Pro deal on your next car, truck, or SUV? York is my number one pick. With over 600 vehicles in stock, York has the largest selection to meet your needs. We're talking new, pre owned, and commercial vehicles. Take it from one All Pro to another, York has your best deal. Shop online at yorkautomotive.com and we'll show you why. We're not number one, you are. We're not number one, you are. You're number one at York. Fast and Furious Women's Basketball coming soon to Indiana Sports Network. St. Mary of the Woods with the ball. Toski, he'll hand it over the right side and a good run off the right edge and he'll pick up about four yards. Thought he was going to break that one over the top yeah. and couldn't quite get it done. New running back into the ball game for St. Mary of the Woods and it should be Keandre Jones in at this time. And now bringing in Darren Hazard as the running back. You know, you mentioned the athletic ability uh, on the other side of the football, uh, Calumet uh, College. 
boy, they've got some serious athletes. So trying to go east-west is going to be a challenge uh, for the Pomeroy's today. Running that 3-3. Three, three. They got the ball out to the tight Woo! end. Nice catch. First down, and the Pomeroy's needed that one. That goes to Carlos Munoz, Jr. on the reception. He's a sophomore from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. If I tell you, uh, Munoz, Jr. paid the price. He took a couple of licks, and good thing he held on to that ball to kept that first down, and uh, a big, big first down for the Pomeroy's. That first first down, uh, always kind of eases you, uh, eases you, uh, your anxiety a little bit. Ball to 25. They're going to hand it off, and they do. They'll pick up about two yards on that as Darren Hazard hammers the ball over the left side. It'll be second and eight. I know they're talking to some individuals around the uh, the college and saying that some of the some of the the boys are. You know, we're just nervous coming in. Just not, just not uh, scared, but just that nervous energy coming into a championship game. Like, boy, they know it's a big game. It's just not just another game. They know just because they beat Calumet City early in the season, that means nothing. So trying to ease into the football game uh, is sometimes, sometimes uh, the recipe. Perea in the backfield, and Toski's getting hammered in there. He'll pick up nothing, no. but that's a really good play because he had a chance to be sacked there. Got it back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and eight. Uh, that pressure from the D-line is getting back there in a hurry. I mean, Toski, on these pass plays, he's having no time. So you're looking at possibly a screen coming soon. Uh, you know, you saw that little quick out to the far side. Uh, a little while ago, so big third down here for the Pomeroy's. 3-3 three, three stack defense. He's got a chance for a draw on occasion, too. Oh, they wow. got it off the back edge. He's got a man if he the, wants Oh, to boy, he didn't, didn't see him. him. Had a man deep down yeah. open, and he just didn't uncork it. Didn't see no, him. No, he didn't see him. It'll bring up fourth down. They did get a first down. They will be able to, to potentially put the ball back here, but they're going to have to have a good punt. Back to punt will be Darren Hazard as he'll step into the ball game again. You know, we, we haven't seen this year a fake punt, but with Hazard back there, that's <laughs> always a possibility. It better not be right now. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> not, <laughs> and, and, I, and I know Coach Powell would, is not, not thinking about a fake punt right here in this situation, but down the line, you are right. I agree with you. I don't know. I think he could get one here pretty soon. That ball's going to roll again, and he's going to get a nice roll down that inside the 30, and that's where the Crimson Away will have it when we return on Indiana Sports Network. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and the communities we call home. We are hiring now for trailer assemblers and welders across the country. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Build something bigger for yourself and your family with great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. Three-man front. A 5-3 now for St. Mary of the Woods. Look at that overload. They get it off the right tackle, and he's just hauled down for a two-yard gain. Again, a good defensive front movement for St. Mary of the Woods as they're able to stymie that Crimson Wave offense running the football. Well, these two teams know each other so well. The fact this is their fifth time playing each other over the last, this is the second year. Um, and so the second time this year they're playing each other. And so, uh, boy, I tell you, just uh, that familiarity uh, this familiarity is just really beneficial and also a detriment. I formation, eight man line. They're going to hand it. Nope, keep it off the edge. And that's not good because the corner wasn't there. And that's what. Oh, oh late hit. 15 yard ah. as he shoved him down. Flags are flying, and that'll cost the St. Mary the Woods. Pomeroy's and a 15 yard on top of that one. So not only did he gain about 15, he'll get another one. That's a 30 yard gain off of that play. Not, uh, you know, you never want to have a, a personal foul giving your opponent 15 extra yards as you see uh, the signal from the referee there. But definitely in a championship game against a team uh, that sometimes struggles to move the ball. You don't want to give them those 15 yards right there, Herb. We talked about penalties. 
in turnovers. The two things for the Pomeroys. You really want to see them limit today. That's right now the second penalty uh, of the game. Well, whoever's got the quarterback off the edge hasn't done it the last two times. You're going to have to have a corner or somebody isolate. Now, I think it's the safety. That's who it is. The safety's got to do a much better job there. Looking at it again. Under center, they're going to hammer the ball inside yeah. on an ISO, and he's got nothing again. Two yards because it, they're actually hammering it in there hard mm -hmm. to another two-yard gain. And Elijah Antis, Antis is really doing a nice job running the football. He's from Gastonia, North Carolina, and he is bringing the load. Yeah, Antis, their uh, feature back uh, for the majority of the season, and uh, has done a you know very uh, very good job. And you mentioned the fact that they're hammering the ball up there. And again, a, a lot of teams that's a maybe a, a, a no gain or a yard or two loss, but they're going up there so quick. Spread offense, two by two. He looks to the edge. He's going to try to run it and makes a move. He'll pick up about four yards on it. He'll bring up third down and about three. Nice little swim move by Barbosa. Very shifty as you see him with the ball. Got to have the good ball security, though, uh, when you're out there running on the, uh, on the edge. And so this uh, third down and very manageable here uh, for Kaima Abdi. Making it third and four. They've got two downs to pick up this one on that third and four opportunity for the Calumet College of St. Joseph, the Crimson Wave here in the championship game of the Midwest Sprint Football League. A formation to wideout spread and a big power up front. They're going to hand it off, and he's drug down short. He'll only gain a yard. It'll bring up third, a fourth down and three. And I think, honestly, they were going two downs yeah, to I, pick up 100%, the first down. 100%, Herb. You're, you're exactly right. So big, big play coming up here. Fourth down and three. And the Crimson Wave are going to spin the dial and see if they can pick this one up. They're really in a position they don't want to punt it here. They're not going to gain anything punting the football. And their kicker, they don't have the respect to try for that field goal. Here it comes. Barbosa at quarterback. Runs it off the edge. He'll no, come I'm back and he's no hammered way. on the inside. And the Woods holds. The Pomeroy's hold the wave. And here comes the Pomeroy's. We'll keep it here on this and a big fourth down play. And the Pomeroy's will have it first I, and ten. I wonder if there's a little confusion on that fourth down play, Herb. It looked like, or was that, I know that was good defense, but it looked oh, like uh, looked like he, Barbosa was expecting something that he didn't see. Well, he didn't get it because what happened was the linebacker came up and filled so quickly okay. that he was like, uh-oh, okay. I, I kept it. He made the right read, but the defense for the Pomeroy's was right there very quickly and made the play. Pomeroy's will shift out of the A formation into a tight end left. They'll hand the ball with a scoop on the left-hand side, getting it up over the edge, and big yardage over for 12-yard gain. And it'll be a first down for St. Marietta Woods. Perea on the carry. Um, I think that's the uh, biggest gain from scrimmage so far uh, for the Pomeroy's. A big first down, the second first down of the afternoon. Well, you get that emotion going, and you have an yeah. opportunity to yeah, do something, and that's exactly what St. Mary the Woods did on that play. Patrick Perea, the running back, he's the deep guy in the A formation. They still have the tight end in, so look for the shift. Nope, they're going to hand it up the middle, and mm. he's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, that's that's uh, uh, in majority of the chances today not going to work against Calumet College. They're very stout up the middle. So they're using this A formation as a, you can run option out of it very easily, which both of these teams are going to look to appear to do today. And it tends to be, for St. Mary of the Woods, their goal line package. Toski, quarterback. Steps back to pass. He's deep. got a man deep. He's going to throw it up, and that's great. Oh, oh got wow. Got that ball. What a catch. Huge catch by Donovan Cherry. Excuse me, I hit the wrong one. I, 
It's the gray unis, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Calvin Jesse. Jason oh, wait a minute. Martin. They're, they're going to call it incomplete. Oh, boy. He bobbled the ball. Okay. Okay. And oh, a flag. and we got a penalty flag, and it's on the sideline. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if it's a warning. If it's on the sideline, I'd imagine it's a warning. We'll see what it is. Probably just a warning. It is a sideline warning yeah. on Calumet, and the next one will cost them some yardage. Right. <clears throat> right. So even though they didn't get that one, you're going to take your shots out of that I formation, agree. and they did. And I was thinking the same thing, that uh, we're going to see something going deep. The one thing that hurts uh, the Pomeroys is the fact that Calumet uh, College has been in the backfield so quickly that Toski has not had a chance to let plays develop, so it makes it hard. So the problem always like to go deep on occasion. Um, we'll, we'll see how this unfolds uh, as the game uh, progresses. Rolling to the right. Toski throws it up. Got a man open. Oh, he's he, out of bounds. Boy. Just missed uh, that one. Had the right toe yeah. out of bounds when he caught it. And that'll bring up fourth down. And that was a great opportunity there. The ball just sailed just a little bit. Or you could say maybe throw the ball one step late. Um, as uh, just couldn't, you know, keep that toe in bounds. I'm going to give on the, the other, sideline from a coaching standpoint. He ran his cut too close to the sideline. He's supposed to actually pinch that one in right. about two yards. That would have given him the cushion. Because when you're doing it, that's the difference between where the hash marks are lined up on football fields. Again, back to punt. Oh boy. Bad snap went over his oh head. Oh man! Here he goes. And up off the side. Does he have the corner? Lop. He has an edge. He's going to have to run. He's going to try to run it out. Gets it to the 40. Yeah. And not the best start right there for this drive as what's going on. The Crimson Wave will have the football in Pomeroy territory over the 50-yard line. And a nice play by... Hazard as he did the most with what he had the ability to do. The other thing you can do is throw that ball out of bounds and go back to the line of scrimmage, but he was trying to get the, the exact um, most out of that play, and he yeah. almost did. It was pretty yeah. close. He, it was closer uh, than, I guarantee it was closer than uh, Coach Novak wanted it to be. Could be the last play of the first quarter. And here we go. Spread offense. They're running the jet sweep. They toss it to the edge, and they've got some movement, movement out there. Very That's nice. a really good play by the defensive end. Very nice. And a huge cleanup by the corner. Yeah. Very nice. Rally to the ball. First man didn't get him down, but you rally to the ball, finish the play. They're going to give him forward progress of a yard and a half on that one. It'll be second and eight. And with that, that's the end of the first period, and we'll march down to the no score here in the championship game of the Midwest Sprint Football League, and we'll return for more action here on Indiana Sports Network. When you're buying a car, getting a mortgage for your dream home, taking out a personal loan, or growing your small business, you know exactly what you need. At Crane Credit Union, our personal banking experience can help you get there. We are here to make your life easier so you can focus on what really matters. Visit cranecu.org to see how we can help you reach your goals. Crane Cares, Crane Credit Union, committed to investing in you and your community. Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. Your all-pro running back Jonathan Taylor here for York Automotive. Looking for an all-pro deal on your next car, truck, or SUV? York is my number one pick. With over 600 vehicles in stock, York has the largest selection to meet your needs. We're talking new, pre-owned, and commercial vehicles. Take it from one all-pro to another, York has your best deal. Shop online at yorkautomotive.com and we'll show you why we're not number one, you are. We're not number one, you are. You're number one at York. Fast, fast and furious women's basketball coming soon to Indiana Sports Network. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. No score at the end of one as 
The Crimson Wave have the football, second and eight, ball to 39-yard line. Barbosa takes that snap. He'll set back to throw. Good. He's got a man in the corner. It could be picked. No, that's, that's a great catch. Went Beautiful. right over the, the bailing corner. He stuck it right in a hole where it's very difficult to throw that one. Yes. Got the completion out for number 11. That's Salmon. Stevie Salmon from Highland High School picks that one up. And it's a first down for Calumet. It, it all started with the protection, and I'm telling you what, Barbosa had all day to throw. Offensive line did a masterful job. Nobody from the Pomeroy D line uh, able to cross the line of scrimmage as Barbosa had the time to let that play develop. Well, that had to be a perfect pass, and it was. It was. <clears throat> Barbosa takes it, handoff, right off tackle, and he's going to go surge. for a couple yards, driving mm -hmm. his feet like crazy as yeah. Elijah Annis. Antis with another driving play, and there's a flag, flag yeah. on the play. We'll see what that one is. Everybody's pointing at everybody on this one. And we're moving them all back, and the officials will discuss this one. They're inside the red zone. Ball was, was, was a lot of discussion. He, he was stopped at the 10. Yeah. Loss of two, but with that unsportsmanlike on St. Mary of the Woods, that'll give him a first down, and it'll go half the distance. My goodness. Down to the five. So it'll be first and goal at the five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too big. They'll they'll mark the ball just inside the five, as you can see there. So the Woods with their backs to the wall here early in the second period. And don't be surprised if Barbosa takes this one. Yeah. He'll fake it inside and boot that thing to the edge. He's got a potential for a lead block. That helps him. Barbosa, motion out to the side. He'll step up. He's got a man in the flat, and there goes Wide Barbosa in. Oh, no. no. He pulls it back, and they stop him at the one. And they're going to have a penalty flag in the right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that'll be interesting. And we'll see what it is here. They threw it in the backfield. They're, they're starting to both get a little chippy. It's a holding okay. call against Calumet. That'll march him back. You know, uh, Barbosa made a cut and made somebody look silly. And he then put he, a Pomeroy on his, on his backside. But he, he didn't <laughs> follow it up with, and what I'm just going to say is he didn't put his foot in the ground and go to the end zone right yeah, away. He tried well, to be fancy with it. and. It, I think, it, kinda, I think he kind of, I think he slipped as well, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> there's a, you know, there's a, there's a high school season and now the sprint football season. The, the turf is holding up, the grass is holding up pretty well. First and goal at the 15. <laughs> <laughs> no, the field's in really good shape. Yeah, for, for what it's been, up, been through, it, it is. And you can see this one. Again, looking at what the defense is going to see here. Play clock down to five. Barbosa in the backfield's got to get it off very quickly. Ooh. He does. Stepping back to pass. Throwing it off the edge. He's got a chance. He's down. Inside the ball's ball. loose. They're going to say he's down. Yeah. Yeah. He was down the ground. Hit yes. ball at the one-yard line. He got hammered. <laughs> he got hammered, but uh, and unfortunately, it knocked him sideways, not into the end zone. But the ball did uh, uh, come out after uh, he hit the, hit the ground. Ball to one. Second down and goal from the one-yard line. We'll see what this one does again. Barbosa's made the plays. He really has. He's kept plays alive. You can see why they put him yeah. back at quarterback instead of being a running back. Uh -huh. Quick set. Barbosa hand, uh, takes it off the right side. He could go in. No, no. they got him hemmed in back at the five-yard line. Boy, that is a great defense right there on second down by the Pomeroys. When you look at being uh, uh, really talking about backs against the wall, starting that, uh, that down the distance uh, series. Third down and goal for Calumet College. <laughs> 
and the ball rests just inside the five yard line. Calumet College 12 of 29 on red zone touchdown opportunities. Will they make it 13 of 30? Or will it be 12 of 30? We're about to find out. Double tight, overloaded to the left. They're set. Barbosa hands it off. Power, and he goes just no. about two yards. Wow. Fourth down, what are you doing, Herb? You're going to kick the field goal I and try agree. to get some points on the board. What will, what will Coach Milgram back do? He's going to go for it. Uh -huh. <laughs> nope, here comes. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'd, I'd be kicking it if I have a kick. I would even it. come close. Yeah, absolutely. And they need the points on the board right now. It'll give yeah. them a lift. It'll also give a lift to St. Mary of the Woods if they hold them That's out right. in this situation. Cal you met college five of eight on the season uh, field goal. So, but this is more like a PAT. This yeah, look this, closer even maybe. He got the chip shot going yeah. for him. And we'll see what's going on. Number 40. Get a timeout. That's Colt Ellison. Yeah, timeout. College. And a timeout's been called. We'll take one as well. You're watching the championship game of the Midwest Sprint Football League. At Lynn's Pharmacy, we're more than just your pharmacist. We're your neighbors. Our kids go to the same schools. We eat at the same restaurants. We sit next to you in church. When I listen to a symptom. When I fill a prescription. When I offer advice, I'm not just helping a customer. I'm helping my neighbor and a friend. My name is Lynn Hofstetter, and I'm the proud owner of Lynn's Pharmacy, a modern pharmacy with old-fashioned values and personal service, dedicated to keeping you, your family, and our community healthy since 1872. Here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. At Indiana Land and Lifestyle, we go to great depths to list and sell your property. <laughs> <laughs> if your agent isn't willing to go to these depths, six acres with bass, to list and sell your property, don't you think that's a little fishy? And they're... And here comes the opportunity for Calumet College to get on the board. Barbosa the holder. He sets a oh, no! And they stop the field goal. What a play. It was disaster for Calumet College. And on the other side, the Pomeroys, I'm going to say, lucked out on that one. They did. They had a fake on. Barbosa did not put the ball on the ground. Am I right? I, it didn't look like it. It looked like he was holding it up. So they had a fake on that. I saw that. Oh, Barbosa. And it's not that unfamiliar for a quarterback to be a holder. But I said, mm, watch out. <laughs> what a boost for the Pomeroys. Now, can your offense make the plays and get down the field? And it's very difficult. They like to throw when a turnover happens. Yeah. We'll see if they do it. There's a three deep secondary as well as everybody back. They could run that quarterback draw for big yardage here. Set up, throw the quick hitch outside, good move off the edge, Ooh, he'll pick up tackle. five. That's a great tackle right there. And I couldn't get the number. I think it, um, nah, I'm not gonna, I couldn't see the number, but that's a great tackle uh, over there on the far side. With a By the, we love the gray jerseys, but from the press box, you cannot yeah. see numbers. Well, I, actually, I was looking, trying to see who made the tackle, <laughs> but it was a couple of guys mixed in there together, and I, you know, I couldn't tell. Could be whether we're just getting old, too, but that I, is definitely the case. Stepping back, Toski throws another. He's got uh -huh. the out for the first down and right up the sideline. Flag. And they're going to call the flag. They'll call Ooh. pass interference. That's what it looks like to me, like he blocked before he got the ball in his hands. Mm. We'll see. Yep, it's an offensive pass yeah. interference. Yeah, that's the timing of the flag. So that's, that doesn't look like this defensive pass interference. Yeah, uh, that's, that's a tough one. So they're going to call that one. That'll be half the distance to the goal line, and it'll be second down. That's a tough one when you're trying to start a drive. Well, we'll see what they're going to do here. Again, the Pomeroys have opportunities, and the penalty bug has hit them about four times here in the first yeah. half. Yep. It killed two drives for them. And this one will back them way up inside the 10 where it'll be second and 14. Toski getting the play in the backfield along with, with Toski is Darren Hazard. 
Jeremiah Toski, the quarterback from El Paso, Texas. He's guided the Pomeroys all year. Play action fake, throws Three. a little screen. There it there is. There we go. And here he comes, right down the pipe. He'll Base get that probably? first down. Ooh. Nice run that time by Darren Hazard. The way Hazard kind of bent back, I was wondering if it was possible as a face mask, but obviously it was not. But kind of look oh, at that screen. He's, he's short. It looked like they, they had marked the chains at the 10. Instead, they've got third and one. So it'll be, uh, they got to get to the 21 on this one. From our angle, it looked like they were really close. Goal line opportunity now as the offense comes out. Just like running that third and one play. Here it comes. They're going to move them over. They're going to run jet to the outside or scoop to the outside. They run there it out. There it comes. There it is. Yeah. Off the edge. Great and he play. just about broke that one. Yeah, great one play. man to beat. Great First play down. And, and that's exactly what you needed. That last shift right before they snapped the ball caught Calumet College off balance just a hair and gave the Pomeroy exactly what they needed. Well, Not they had a run ring at the gun against these guys. They had a really good fake coming the other way and it froze the linebackers and they were able to get that seam. Good blocking up front by the Pomeroys. They'll shift and do it again. Here it comes. That's the exact same play the other direction and they got it from the back edge. The fake didn't do anything to hold that defensive end. He closed down hard, made the play. That's a nice play for Calumet College. How much does Corbin Cleveland have? I'm looking at him being on an island uh, with uh, Damon Johnson here on the near side. I have no safety. Can you take a shot down the field in this situation right here, Herb? I know a second down and long. Well, if you've, got a good, if you've got a good route runner, you can take one at any time because it's a one-on-one -on -one deal. They're going to move and go to trips. they got a chance. They're going to roll him out to the right here. He gets in. They chuck it out. Yeah, nice nowhere. screen. And nowhere. he got hammered. He got hammered. And I think that was Kadarius Davis that he read that like a book. It was Davis. He gets up mm. uh, again. Quadarius Davis, the defensive back from Benton Harbor, Michigan, Woo. makes the play. It's third and 13. Another big third down play. Running down to 745 left to go here in the first half. No score mm -hmm. in the 2023 championship game of the Midwest Sprint Football League. Third and 13 for the Pomeroys. We get a crosser. We got a lot of space here. We got to have here comes time. A crosser. They got a double when he had a man open. Oh, what a hit! Really close, but he's short. It looks to be short. They're going to mark this one just at the 36, and he's got to get to at least the 37. Cameron Perry, a great job from Munster, Indiana, with that uh, first down saving tackle. Uh, for Calumet College and the uh, decision for Coach Powell. And it looks like the decision will be to punt or are we going for this? Uh, they brought in the A formation. Okay. Okay. Here they go. Big, big play for the Pomeroys. They need to get some field position. Mm -hmm. Trying to get him to jump off sides. That's a yeah, good, uh -huh. smart move. Yeah. Don't be surprised at the timeout. They play call clock. it, and play we'll take one too. as well. Timeout on the field. Yeah. No score here in the championship game. At Indiana Land and Lifestyle, we go to great depths to list and sell your property. <laughs> <laughs> if your agent isn't willing to go to these depths, six acres with bass, to list and sell your property, don't you think that's a little fishy? And there's fish ever. Oh! And snapping turtles! For all your Indiana land needs, check us out at indianalandandlifestyle.com. Oh, that's gross. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. Time and gamble probably 50%. You know what I mean? Like, there's this time. Great oh. conversation up here with the coach. I know. Yeah, this is, this is a, I, got, I got a Hall of Fame coach up here in the booth. What do you got up at home, folks? You might be in your recliner sitting next to the Are they a Hall of Fame coach like I got up here? <laughs> you got to have a set play for this one. We'll yeah. see what the set yeah. play is. Yeah. 
I like I like a punt right here, Herb. They're gonna bring the quarterback in. He's got the first he down. He it. hammered it yeah. in there. That's the offensive set that the Pomeroys were using early, early in this season. And Toski takes it for the first down. So my my question uh, now uh, is uh, is that the only time we'll see this? And I'm not talking about like a you know a, a third or fourth down situation. That's the only time we'll see this. And number two, do we have like a um, a wildcat quarterback person that, that we that actually we I, think Tos that. I think Toski's a better wildcat than almost anybody else. Okay, okay. But we do have one, and here he is. Oh boy! Lost the football on the floor. Oh. Fumbled on that one. They brought in the wildcat guy. You were asking for him. They brought him in. And that's Carter Hall, a quarterback from well, Duggar. We won't see that again. Nope. That's how it works. <laughs> oh, man. It's part of making sure everybody's there. Wow. Toski in the ball game. Here it comes. Now, that fumble's not on me, just so you know. Perea Davis. He's going to throw the deep one. Got it. Oh, boy. Oh, the the head. oh my the goodness. The defender <laughs> it hit. The defensive back, Damon Johnson from Washington High School in Indianapolis, hit him right in the head. That's good defensive position. Yes, yes it was. But at the same time, I thought maybe the St. Mary of the Woods player in this case uh, would go up after that one. Cleveland. And it, it looked like. Yeah. Was I think it, I think Cleveland was waiting for it to come down in his lap, and I, I think I you know I thought I it was, it was Cleveland at least. I think it was Johnson. Oh, okay. I think it went okay. after Devron Johnson, okay. who has been the guy that they've matched up on people because he he's a little bit taller. They have him at six foot. He's a little taller and super athletic. He's been able to go for it. They're going again. Look out. They got him sacked almost. They hit him in the, in towards the head, but that'll be the sack, and that'll cause mm. the punting unit to come out for St. Mary of the Woods. Big play that time for the Crimson Wave on that sack is number 19, that's Josh Tejada, the defensive back from Hobart. They sent him in off the edge. Calumet uh, College coming in with 15 sacks on the season and boy, they have just been in the backfield. St. Mary the Woods new. really hasn't been across the 50 yard line no. in the first half. No. It's been a defensive struggle, but it's always been on the other side of the field. Got the return on here for Calumet College. Another tough snap. Got it. Ball's going to roll. They got to get out of the way, and they do. The ball's going to be at the 35-yard line when we return for more action on Indiana Sports Network. Clinic Health Professional. Affordable, compassionate, comprehensive health care for the whole family. In Terre Haute and Greencastle. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. And Calumet College very close to breaking the huddle with 12. Instead, it is 11, overloaded formation. Oh, and they moved. moved off that one. It'll cost them yeah. five. Yeah. And there's some people yelling and screaming on, on the uh, Calumet sideline. They're not really liking what's going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're not, especially after that uh, penalty on first down. That'll, that'll get your dander up, won't it? Well, and they had a big play defensively with the sack. Mm -hmm. This is a huge game of emotion. It's just gone back and forth. Nobody scored. Nope. And at the same time, it's been a huge defensive struggle for both teams. The defenses have played very solid. Mm -hmm. Moving around, 5-3 front now. Watch the keeper. Nice play by the nose. That nose tackle just drove the center back, went side, and made the tackle. What a play. They picked up a whole yard on that one, and I'm telling you, he just manhandled the center, bench pressed him, and went to the side, need. and made the play. That's what you need. And you've seen, uh, you've seen the Crimson Wave being in the backfield, the Pomeroy's all afternoon long. We'll see. Pomeroy's haven't been able to get, through, you know, in there uh, as much. And so they're trying to try to make their defensive pressure be felt. 
Again. Looks like a rugby scrum setting up here, doesn't it? Two tight ends. They fumbled the football again. That nose guard, and then they could get him in the back. Nope, and this is going to oh be a big God. problem because he's oh. going to have to have a chance to beat one. He'll pick up five yards on mm -hmm. the play. Mm -hmm. Got to the original line of scrimmage. There's man. some stuff going on, a little extracurriculars yeah, by both of these guys. Delon Harvey is the guy that was playing up front, defensive lineman, freshman from Quitman, Georgia. He's the guy making a play. He's he's making life miserable up he front is. for him. Yes, he is. That's what back-to-back -back plays he's caused havoc there. And they'll rotate people in yeah, and out. Harvey will come out. He's not happy. He's not he happy. Not, and I wouldn't be either. He is dominating the game. The last two plays were all Delon Harvey causing issues. They're going to go again. He throws it out there. He's got the catch and does not get the first down. And again, Calumet College will have an opportunity. They're going to punt the football. Pass is completed out to Trey Simmons from Michigan City. He made the catch, didn't get yardage, and that was good pressure by the Pomeroys. Look, they tried to set up a little tunnel screen there, and it just, boy, the Pomeroys were, you know, quick to the ball. They're flying. Yeah. Everybody's going. This is fun. This is a fun game, Herb. It is. Here it comes, and that Great ball's going to drop and bounce and... And it's the Pomeroy football. First and 10 on the 28 when we return for more action on Indiana Sports Network. There was a time when your local pharmacy defined your community. Before the days of long lines and drive through national chains, pharmacists gave your health personal attention and you're always met with a familiar face. Back then, your questions were always answered, even when you forgot to ask. In Brazil, Indiana, that friendly local pharmacy has always been Lens Pharmacy since 1872. We are a modern pharmacy with the latest technology Still deliver that old-fashioned, friendly, personal service today. Experience the tradition with your family at Lens Pharmacy in downtown Brazil. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. Pomeroy's with the football, trips to the left. Back, looking deep. Threw the little out, and he Boy. got him out there for about a seven-yard yeah. gain. And... Again, a nice catch out there. Number six is Cleveland, the wide receiver yeah. from Missouri City, Texas. Just not able to plant there. This, you know, like I said, the, the, this, uh, this field's been through a lot th this season <laughs> and has held up very nicely, but you can start to see the wares of a, of a year of football. Here we go, A formation. They're going to shift over. Toski with the roll. Look, Looks back. Like Not Another there. Oh, oh, God. And oh, they read that. Woo. That was close. They had the back out of the backfield, which in this case is roll right, hazard left. And hazard was covered by two. Yeah. Brian Walker should have had that interception. They read that so well. They're not fooled by the smoke and mirrors today. A lot of motion, uh, movement, or one way or the other. You're, you're on the backside of that defense. They've stayed true. Um, and and that, that's why one, they're one of the best defenses in the Midwest Football League, because of plays like that. Now, they didn't complete it. They didn't make the interception. But uh, they didn't give up a big play, which is what a lot of teams would have done. Bunch. They went for the blitz. They got him. Oh, boy. You got to get rid of that 52 ball. for Calumet is Trevor Boosie, linebacker from Knox High School. Oh. And they'll call timeout. Yeah, I agree, yep. That's what we're doing. Let's yeah, see. They should. Timeout's been called by Calumet. We'll take one as well. 145 left to go here in the first half. At SurfPro, we offer cleaning services, including the removal of biohazard containments. We have the specialized training and products to get your property back to business. We are here to help get your business back to normal. SurfPro in the Wabash Valley, here to help. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes has the mission of leading every coach and every athlete into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ and His church. Through camps and huddles, character coaches, and special events, we are making an impact in West Central Indiana. Check out where you can get involved at our website, WCIndianaFCA.com.
www.fcaconsultants.org. FCA, we are the heart and soul in sports. I'm Ryan Luce with State Farm in Clinton, Indiana. We're here to help life go right for you and your family. They brought the house on the punt, but it was punted away, about a 25-yard punt, and that's where Calumet College will take care of it. And they brought the house. They just didn't get there. Good blocking up front by St. Mary the Woods, and Darren Hazard got the ball off. Just enough time to get it rolling. Yeah, and that sets up a, a, a drive by Calumet College at the 45-yard line. It's one of their best field position of the day. Not the best, but one of the second best, I do believe. Uh, as uh, we'll see what Barbosa and company can do. Coach Novak has got uh, still one timeout uh, to work with. Going to get four, 55 yards on this drive to get an end zone. Double tight, overloaded front. Two backs, here it comes. He's going to throw the quick one. Oh! Almost picked off. Had some juice on it there, didn't it? Sure did. He couldn't get to it. Yeah, he had no chance. He just stuck his hand out there, you know, when he saw the ball coming his way. But he had no chance uh, here to comes really pick that off. The spread package now in for Calumet yeah. College. They have the tight running package. That's what that uh -huh. was. Now it's the spread package as they brought everybody in on this one. Wouldn't be surprised to see Barbosa try to hit that edge, would you? Wouldn't be surprised if he scrambles around and tries to buy a little time. That's what he's really good at doing. Three receivers, bottom of your screen. Yeah, she's going to have Barbosa time. takes it, looks, he's got the cross. What a route. big cake. Got a guy open right there, and he threw it right I, through his hand. I'm going to say, Herb, I don't like the, the three-quarter delivery. Um, you don't have to. There's nobody in your face. Just your normal delivery, make the pass. I, I didn't think there was anybody impeding his delivery to the, you know, with his throw. That's one of those where you work and work and work. When you're throwing, you don't want to bring the ball from your waist. No. He brings it from his waist, and he loses all his throwing motion. I don't know the number, but one of the offensive linemen for Calumet College absolutely buried our guy. <laughs> <laughs> buried him. Bunch trips here to the right side. Step back to pass. They've got a man to open down the left sideline. They throw it up. It's oh, caught. Boy. And a great catch down there. Number seven on the catch. That's Kadarius Jones, the wide receiver from Michigan City. All day long back there. There's a four-man rush. Had too much time. And he's able to deliver a deep ball. 20. 23 yard line, first and 10, with 112 left to go. <laughs> Boy, we need Harvey to make a play, don't we? They're going to the bunch again. They ran crossing routes off of this. And I know what this is. Scheme, they got him there, right in there. Stay with him. It's deep. The ball's loose. No, he was up. down. He they was say down. he was down. Yeah, he was down. Way to stay with him. See if you can hold that ball, Pomeroy. Just waste a little time. <laughs> 38 seconds, and it's running. Yeah. They're running in a mesh concept with that trips. That's why you got guys open. Unless you're playing man or unless you really know what the mesh concept is coming at you, you're in trouble. There it is. Now it's all vague. Hard to hold. Put it in. Almost. He's got a man in the end zone, yeah. and he overthrows him. Once again, that's Harvey on the edge, Herb. He uh, was, I thought he was held. That was just very slight, so they didn't call that. Um, and he uh, got a surge right at the end, right in, in front, in, in the face of Barbosa, made him jump and throw that ball high. So Harvey, once again, that's your guy affecting the play on the defensive line. Substitutions both sides as they get ready for this one. 18 seconds left to go here in the first half. And Calumet College has another chance to score here. Ball inside the 20. Third down. They go to throw it deep. They got a man open. Oh, oh my. It. it hit his hands. He saw the defender flash in front of his eyes right there, uh, trying to make a, uh, a, a play on the ball. 
and I think that distracted him just enough to where he was not able to make that catch. And he now I think we'll have a real field goal attempt. Yeah, now this is going to be interesting here. This is a, this is a you know, this will be what, about 40 yards? They'll mark it down no, at the 25, so it's a 35-yard attempt. Uh -huh. 48, that's Jared Sates, the kicker from First Academy in Howie in the Hills, Florida. I'd love to see the timeout there. Goes in, oh, it's blocked, blocked, block, scoop, pick it up. It goes to scoop, and they couldn't scoop it. Wow. And the field goal attempt is blocked by St. Mary of the Woods. Eight seconds left to go in the first half. That one never had a chance. That was so low. Uh, he just did not get that ball up uh, off of his foot at all. And now five of nine for field goals on the season. Another big hold on the Pomeroy defense herd. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's been all defense. Both sides, they played really well. If the offenses will match up in the second half, we'll see what's going on. And this one is right down to the wire. They're going to take one more shot. You can uh, tell. Go victory formation here. <laughs> I know. Me too. But uh, they're going to take it. They're going to hand okay. it off. Well, An inside fine. run. And they may call time out there. They did. Two and a half seconds left to go in this. So now you got a shot to throw it up. Timeout on the field. And we'll take one very no. short one here yeah, again. Put time on the clock here in a no, they didn't. They did not let it. They ran oh. it out. You're right. They ran it out. I thought they had a timeout left, and that's the end of the first half. No score in the 2023 championship game of the Midwest Sprint Football League that you're watching here on Indiana Sports Network. We'll be back with our halftime show in just a moment. It's time for the Halftime Report on the Indiana Sports Network. Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. A-plus printing is your best place for uniforms, programs, t-shirts, and hats, plus screen printing, business printing, and documents. Get all your promotional items, including koozies and coffee mugs. Just give Kevin a call. A-plus printing does it all. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and the communities we call home. We are hiring now for trailer assemblers and welders across the country. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Build something bigger for yourself and your family with great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. Exciting St. Mary of the Woods College men's basketball coming soon to Indiana Sports Network. Laser engraving at its finest by Fearless Designs is now available. Cups, bats, gloves, license plates, and almost anything you desire can now be a laser engraved gift for your family and friends or a promotional item for your company. Stay on the unique cutting edge of technology. Call, text, or email Fearless Designs. You'll be glad you did. This program is a copyrighted production of Indiana Sports Network and cannot be shown, reproduced, or redistributed in any way or in any form without prior written permission from Indiana Sports Network. Treatment for those with mental illnesses and addiction issues has evolved over the years. In the late 1960s, Indiana's mental health system began to take shape. From 1971 to 2021, Hamilton Center has touched the lives of thousands of people in central and west central Indiana. We are committed to the latest therapies to improve the quality of life for those with mental illnesses. Treatment works. Recovery is possible. And thank you, Indiana. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. And welcome back. It's halftime here in West Vigo. Uh, and when I say this, it, that's just if you're viewing this ball game and you're not familiar with Terre Haute, it's on the west side of the river. And uh, that's where St. Mary of the Woods College is right down the avenue here, really close by. It's, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to get there. Um, in St. Mary of the Woods, 6 of 10 is Jeremiah Toski throwing the ball for 39 yards, as long as 12. 
for Nino Barbosa for Calumet. He's 6 of 11 for 82 yards. His long was 32 yards. And it was a pretty good throw and an opportunity for Calumet College. They had a big opportunity down in, they had a second and goal at the one. And a huge sack at that point, dropped it to the five, and they just couldn't get it in. They went for, we, we think, a fake field goal. Um, they didn't score that. And right at the end of the first half, they went for another field goal, had it blocked. So the ball has been moved quite often into St. Mary of the Woods territory, but Calumet College could not finish two drives they had an opportunity to score on. The rest of the time, the defense for both sides has been absolutely tremendous. Uh, and when you're looking at this, um, there's really not much else to say that way. Uh, rushing the football, 52 yards for Kadarius Jones, 27 yards for Stevie Salmon, and Trey Simmons with three. That's the official on what's going on. Excuse me, those are receiving yards. Um, but when I look at rushing, Antis with 10 carries for 26 yards. Folks, that's 2.6 yards per rushing attempt. And Nino Barbosa has nine carries for 16 yards. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, Patrick Perea, four attempts for 28 yards, a seven-yard average for St. Mary of the Woods. Keandre Jones with six yards, and he averages three yards a carry. Darren Hazard, four carries for four yards. That's one yard per carry. Toski has been sacked a couple different times. Again, seven carries officially for Jeremiah Toski. He has a negative 29 yards off of those sacks. And again, receiving Munoz has two receptions for 19 yards. Hazard, two receptions for 10. Corbin Cleveland, one reception for six. And Patrick Priya, one reception for four. It has not been a very good offensive day for either side. Punting the ball, Darren Hazard's averaging 36.8 yards. A punt as long was 44. Uh, Montoya had one point for four or one punt for 44 yards and says had uh, two punts for uh, a 31 and a half yard average again all of this is just basically defensive football it looks like something with woody hayes and both shembeckler in the first half where those two teams are just pounding on each other defensively but again the 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 defense for st mary of the woods has stiffened when the balls got inside the red zone it's been there twice for calumet college and they have not scored that's where we are at halftime we're looking for great things a great opportunity uh again we'll take a very short break we'll be back and talk a little bit more about this ball game and again a little bit more about st mary of the woods you're watching indiana sports network Today's vehicles often require additional procedures such as computer scans for even simple repairs. This ensures that your crash avoidance system and distance sensors are functioning properly. At Honey Creek Collision, we invest in the latest equipment and technology and provide continuing education for our technicians to ensure a high quality and safe repair. Honey Creek Collision is a second generation, family owned and operated business that you can trust. So when your insurance company asks, tell them you're going to Honey Creek Collision. Your all-pro running back, Jonathan Taylor here for York Automotive. Looking for an all-pro deal on your next car, truck, or SUV? York is my number one pick. With over 600 vehicles in stock, York has the largest selection to meet your needs. We're talking new, pre-owned, and commercial vehicles. Take it from one all-pro to another, York has your best deal. Shop online at yorkautomotive.com and we'll show you why we're not number one, you are. We're not number one, you are. You're number one at York. When you're buying a car, getting a mortgage for your dream home, taking out a personal loan, or growing your small business, you know exactly what you need. At Crane Credit Union, our personal banking experience can help you get there. We are here to make your life easier so you can focus on what really matters. Visit cranecu.org to see how we can help you reach your goals. Crane Cares, Crane Credit Union, committed to investing in you and your community. There is a greatness inside of you, a passion, a strength, a determination. So embrace it. Embrace the greatness that you bring to everything you do. Embrace the idea that you can do work that makes an impact, work that keeps the country moving forward and our economy strong. 
because not everyone has what you have. And that's exactly what connects you to all of us at Great Day. There's greatness inside of you. Are you ready to embrace it? Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. And welcome back to West Vigo High School, the home of St. Mary the Woods football. And alongside me is Kevin Lanky. And, and Kevin, I always say athletic director, and that's not the official title. You're going to have to give me the official title more to guys because it is an awesome title. I wish I had one of those. A athletic director works, but associate vice president for athletics is the technical title. Associate vice president for athletics. And that, that sounds even better because when I'm looking at all the things you've accomplished here, and I talked to you earlier we weren't on the air but i'm talking about all the all the things you have you have stuff with logo on we're going to give you that one you've got hats and shirts and all <laughs> kinds of things and everybody wearing them all over the place this has been outstanding for st mary that was this year it has sprint football was really designed to help enrollment help school spirit we have a record crowd today we've had at least 750 through the gate uh, we also want to thank our folks from calumet for coming down for the game it's been a great atmosphere on both sides uh, we made some dual logo merchandise to really try to make it a conference championship game, make the experience good for the folks from Calumet St. Joseph as well. Uh, but certainly we want the Pomeroys to have a great championship experience too. And we've tried our best, and so far it's been a good event. We'll see what happens in the second half. Well, I noticed their, their crowd actually went out and formed a tunnel for their guys <laughs> to run through. And I mean, it, it is really loud, and it, it is the loudest game I think I've had um, probably in four or five years. It's very loud up here, and everybody's into the ball game. Well, you have a championship game. I mean, we've talked, there's a trophy on the line. There's gear on the line. There's championship T-shirts that I don't even think the players know about yet. <laughs> we've really worked with um, the, the, the conference office here from the MSFL to make this a championship caliber event. And so we really appreciate Maria Buckle and the support from the MSFL to help us make this event as nice as we've been able to see today. Well, there's been some talk about about other teams potentially entering the league what what's up with those and kind of give us a, a rundown of what we can expect here in the next couple years we know there's a lot of interest that we get those conversations typically happen in the spring so it may be february march before we can announce that but you know i think the vision is we would love this to expand out to about a 12 team league have divisions have regular season winners and then a playoff where you cross the divisions and you have an eight or nine game schedule like you have now so i think that's the vision how far we'll get this year or the next off season we'll see but uh, we really do feel like we have a partnership with the schools that are in this league uh, you know we've seen the really good ones have all come through here Bellarmine and Fontbonne and Quincy and Calumet are really the four best teams outside of St. Mary of the Woods in the league and they've all come to West Vigo this year well and with that you're you're seeing I, I'm saying some really great football now as I know it's 0-0 but it's not 0-0 because it's bad the defense Defenses have just played very well in this ball game. They have, and we've seen some shots downfield. We've seen some medium shots that have almost captured, and I think whatever happens in the second half, somebody's going to make those plays and those connections, and they're going to walk out with a really nice trophy. Well, when you're looking at, at the other things going around here at St. Mary the Woods, I know basketball is underway for both men's and women's basketball. You had an outstanding volleyball season this year. Uh, tell us about that. We did. The vol women's volleyball had a great fall season, 28 wins, a school record. Ashley Harris and the team did a great job. Hannah Zugi, a grad student, is going to leave as the most decorated player in school history, most likely. And it was a great special year. They were upset in the quarterfinal round of the conference conference tournament and I, every time I see the players how we do and how we feel like don't lose sight of all the things you accomplished because the quarterfinal match didn't go the way you wanted it was a special season for the volleyball team and we're excited for year two of men's volleyball under the direction of Ian Harris uh, starting up here pretty soon in January. Well, and you're talking about adding other sports and different things, and I, you can't do that publicly yet because I know you haven't announced that, but this place is growing, just leaps and bounds. We've seen it. We've seen huge uh, progress in terms of numbers, but now you're talking about maybe building some things and doing those kinds of things. How exciting is it to be at St. Mary the Woods right now? It's incredibly exciting. I, when I took this position, I said, you know, it's year three of the NAIA, and the next three to five to seven years, we're going to define who 
who we are as an athletic department, what the reputation is of SMWC nationwide, and help grow the enrollment and the overall stability and growth of the school. And it's been an unbelievably exciting first few months for me and just ready to get through the whole season. You know, we've got the two basketball seasons going right now. Um, as we said, Jesse McClung and the team's off to a really strong start. They had a great event with Indiana State at Holman Center that I think we had a rec what was a record number of students to attend a game. I think it's been <laughs> broken today, um, but that was great. Terry Bow and the women's basketball program off to a very good start right now. You will want to come see the Pomeroy women's basketball team. They play a fast tempo. They're trying to score 80, 90, 100 points a game, and they're going to be very successful. And, you know, the remaining sports we talked about, the golf teams had a very successful fall. Cross country, very successful. Thomas Chapman was our contender to make the Nationals. Um, the soccer team's very good fall. The women's soccer team made the RSC tournament, narrowly fell to Rio Grande in the quarterfinal, but again, really moving the bar forward. And then when we get into the spring, of course, equestrian will be back. That was a fall sport that just finished up. They're going to compete in the spring as well. And then, of course, the well-known softball team and all the success under Jim Walker. That's a huge roster. Very well-known team in the, uh, the Valley for sure. And a two-time NAIA National Tournament qualifier in our first two years. And Coach Walker, I don't want to keep this too loud, but might be the best team we've had yet. So we'll see. <laughs> well, you never know about that. But in the same process, what an expansion of the athletic department has done here at St. Mary the Woods in terms of student enrollment and those things. You just you just know things are happening here. It's a, it's a buzz all over the Wabash Valley, especially with the kind of students they bring in locally. But now we're talking nationally well and you see the enrollment you, when you look at our enrollment grid eight years ago we had 290 students and they were all from the contiguous states now you look at us there's over 20 states represented we have a campus record population of over 600 this year that's huge growth in a short amount of time we're getting the staffing and everything set up on campus to be able to handle that now we look to the next phase right what's our next goals we're going to get there right now we're in a really good spot and we can continue with that growth pattern instead of it being a steep climb up a mountain we want it to be more of a sl small incline right now but it really seems to be going well and things are in a very good spot at St. Mary of the Woods. Well I know our numbers online with our broadcasts have been absolutely huge with with what's going on we're, we're approaching like 9,000 a game almost seven to nine thousand and uh, those are big numbers for us but I know you've had big numbers as well and and I did I see the women's basketball team is going to entertain is that University of Indianapolis is that right we, we just did earlier this week and that was a very good game we fell behind big early rallied cut it to single digits at the end of the third quarter before falling but that's a very good D2 program and the fact they would come play us on yeah. the St. Mary of the Woods arena is a good sign for what we're trying to do coach Bowes really stepped up the schedule there we have the University of the Cumberlands this is my promo November 28th <laughs> a Tuesday we have a double header the Cumberland's women are ranked 13th in the country. The men are receiving votes in the poll. We're going to find out where we are as a national player on that night with both teams. November 28th at St. Mary of the Woods. Come out and support both of our programs. Well, I know we're going to have multiple sports here on Indiana Sports Network. We're happy to do that. Very pleased with the opportunity we have to, to help promote the, the Pomeroy's as we go forward. And a great job this year in getting things rolling. And we wish you the very best of luck. And we'll pause. We'll be right back with the start of the second half. You're watching the Midwest Sprint Football League Championship here on Indiana Sports Network. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and the communities we call home. We are hiring now for trailer assemblers and welders across the country. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Build something bigger for yourself and your family with great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. Fast and Furious Women's Basketball coming soon to Indiana Sports Network. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. Okay, the easiest question, I've, I've softballed some really nice tosses in my day, but here's the easiest question. <laughs> what do we need in the second half? Boy, uh, a point 
up a point. Uh, let's see. Because we can get a safety. That's two points. So <laughs> viewers we can get to win this game. You know, uh, honestly, and we we're kind of you know make light of the situation. These two defenses have played so well. How you met college defense? Uh, everybody knows, and they've been doing it all season long. St. Mary Woods has a good defense. There, I, I, I think to me the difference between. Uh, the Pomeroy's defense and the Crimson Wave defense, the Crimson Waves are nasty. Yeah. And I don't mean that in a negative sense. No. I mean that in the most respect that I can give you. Those boys are nasty on defense, man. St. Uh, Mary the Woods, we're, we're getting to that level, but Calumet College defense is nasty. They got some dogs on defense. If we can, we got to find a way to score. You change up your schemes. We, you, we talked about running Toski. We talked about that. You know, you have some playmakers that you got to find a way to get the ball to. Defensive line has been in our backfield all half, so that yeah, makes it, it hard for Toski. But boy, you got to find a way to scheme some things up and get some points on the board. Everything from quarterback, uh, and when I say quarterback draw, or yeah. ultimately the the little screen passes, they've had opportunities with them. They just haven't been able to right. get them through. And the other thing is, they really haven't isolated their wide receiver. Devron John is, Johnson has been yeah. the guy that's really difficult. He had one opportunity where it went off the head right. or the helmet of yeah. the Calumet. City College or Calumet College of St. Joe player and when that happened it kind of you could just see that's where St. Mary of the Woods has been able to score uh -huh. they've moved the ball in those big type of plays they haven't gotten any of them today anytime you see one-on-one -on -one with no safety you've got to at least think about it no I'm not saying you throw it that direction every time even though I would <laughs> I'm just you know you've got your ways where I'm crazy that's where I, I mean if you want to disrespect my guy yeah. by being single with no safety okay I'll take it and I'll you know that's his way, way but you got to look and maybe give the appearance and but I just not enough looks in that direction we've seen that a few times I'd love to see a couple more deep shots like you'd that. really like to see the deep shots off of a double move but right yeah. now Tosky doesn't time. have the time yeah and so it, it's, the Calumet, it's uh, that trade-off and yeah. I and I you know I watch a lot yeah. of football uh, folks yeah. I, I probably yeah. watch more football than anybody in right. this actual area I right and when I when I'm looking at it again the you think offensive and defensive lines don't control they yeah. can control yeah. this game the lines yeah. do because uh, right now St. Mary the Woods doesn't have the time to throw it deep and also the defensive line for St. Mary the Woods has done a great job up yeah. front to stop the running Harvey. game boy Harvey's been a monster he has yep. and you put those all together and we're going to see what happens the second half ready to start here in just a moment we'll take a break and be, we'll be right back with more on the 2023 championship of the midwest sprint football league you're watching indiana sports network At Lynn's Pharmacy, we're more than just your pharmacist. We're your neighbors. Our kids go to the same schools. We eat at the same restaurants. We sit next to you in church. When I listen to a symptom. When I fill a prescription. When I offer advice, I'm not just helping a customer. I'm helping my neighbor and a friend. My name is Lynn Hofstetter, and I'm the proud owner of Lynn's Pharmacy, a modern pharmacy with old-fashioned values and personal service dedicated to keeping you, your family, and our community healthy since 1872. Here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. At Indiana Land and Lifestyle, we go to great depths to list and sell your property. <laughs> if your agent isn't willing to go to these depths, six acres with bass, to list and sell your property, don't you think that's a little fishy? And there's fish everywhere. Oh! And snapping turtles! For all your Indiana Land needs, check us out at indianalandandlifestyle.com. Oh, that's gross. You're watching the Indiana Sports Network. And it's the Midwest Sprint Football League Championship game. No score at halftime, and we're ready to start this third period of play. And here we go. 15 minutes on the board for the third period.
Ball kicked down inside the 10. They'll pick it up, and he's got to try to make a move. He does. Off the right side, he's got an air area, and he goes out of bounds close to the 30-yard line. They're going to and a lot of pushing and shoving over there, and no flags. You know, we'll keep I, it yeah. here, and we'll go with this one. But right now, it's St. Mary of the Woods time, and Toski will step in at quarterback, and we'll see what happens here. You know, so many times when you uh, mess up the timing by muffling a, a, a kick, it messes up the uh, coverage. That time it did not, unfortunately. Uh, Pomeroy's will be uh, kind of at the point of the field where they've been all day. Yeah. But the other one is, when you mess one up like that, the defense tends to relax just a hair. That's, that's what I was saying. And then yeah. you make that cut, and yep. you could be gone. Mm -hmm. Toski. He'll take the, the snap. They'll hand it inside. And they're going to try to hammer it up in there. They go, yeah. don't go very far at all as I think it's Perea with the run. We'll check and see that one. You saw uh, it looked like, uh, what was that, maybe Cleveland coming to the outside to uh, continue that play, maybe something that we'll see, um, you know, as the day progresses, fake that inside move and then felt a little screen outside. Three receivers to the bottom of your screen. They're going to throw the out. It could have been picked, and it yeah. is. My God. Shot right, right there with Trevor Abusi, the linebacker from Knox High School. You don't always see, very often see linebackers able to make plays like that, but what a play uh, he, by Abusi. My goodness, he's he been everywhere. Undercut the route. Yes, he did. In a tremendous job and just got in there, laid out. And the other part is you usually don't see him with those kind of hands because if they have nope. those kind of hands, they're usually playing tight end. That's right. That's exactly right. Nice catch. Gives Calumet the opportunity. The ball's inside the 30-yard line, first and 10 for the Crimson Wave. Eye formation, two tight ends. Flanker to the left. Still have that overload, and here they come. Oh, my. Dive, and he mm. goes nowhere. Nope. You talked about being in the backfield once again, then uh, no guard is just blowing up things, and boy, just very uh, uh, sound, very stout, and very strong on the defensive end on the line for the Pomeroy's. The tough thing about the turnover in that spot is that you won't go but four straight downs for Calumet. They won't punt it. Oh, no. They won't kick it. No. Kick it. It's four downs yeah. to pick up 10 yards. Yeah, I agree. Again. Unless you can get a negative play. Double tights. Looking at running. If they do to the right side, and it's the quarterback yeah. keeping the ball, he'll pick up five. Boy, they're right on the, uh, the, the, the I think it was the uh, right defensive end, left defensive end pinched looking in the backfield and uh, Barbosa kept and he's a little, a little limpy, a little gimpy there as he uh, took a little hit as he, you know, doesn't have his normal gait. Couple ways to look at that because he forced him to keep the football, the linebacker is able to make it play with nobody blocking him. He just didn't get there quick enough. It also kept the ball off the edge, which is where St. Mary of the Woods has had trouble. Third, and they're going to say six on this one. Third and six. That up for two plays if they have to. Double tights. They're going to hand it off. Tackle. He bounced to the edge, and a corner didn't get there, but that's because Penalty. there's a hold, yeah. and they'll move, march this one back five yards mm -hmm. or ten yards. It'll bring up a third and 15 after they're done with this mark rather, off. Rather late for the flag, though. So, I, you, know, I, you know, I would think it's a, a hold. They actually took the defensive end or the player at the end of the line and held on to him so he couldn't get, escape over the top. Third and 15. Now, this moves it a little bit differently yeah. because if they lose a couple yards mm -hmm. or or if they don't gain any yards on this third down play, they could they elect to punt this yeah. one and try to pin yeah. St. Mary the Woods back at the end zone. Yep. Three receivers to the top of the screen as they impact with the spread. I think just staying on the ground. Barbosa and Antis in the backfield. He'll throw the football. Goes back to throw. He's going to run and scramble. He's got a chance to pick up the yardage. They can't gather him in. He's at the ten, 5, 10, 5. Oh Touchdown. He's in. Did he step out? 
Oh, I thought he was a touchdown. Oh, boy. I... It looks like he made it in. Then there's no signal yet. No, they, they, they said down at the one is what they're saying. They downed him. They downed him inside the five. I oh, thought he boy. got to the end zone. I thought he zone. dove and hit the pylon. He did, but he, they I said didn't he stepped. I didn't see that. Yeah, I didn't they see the step coming out, yeah. but they said he did. It's first and goal, ball to two. <laughs> what a big play there by Bo Barbosa, most athletic kid on the, on the uh, offense for them. Two missed tackles in Barbosa. Yeah. I just keep it in his hands. I, I would too. And it's right behind him. They're going to quarterback sneak or hand it off to him. Flag. And they're Move going to in. call an illegal procedure. Delay of game is what they oh called. See, that's the tough one when you have a big play and you got the 40-second clock yeah. and it runs and runs and runs. You got to get up and snap it quick. I didn't see that. <laughs> so the clock ran out on them and they're going to move it back. First and goal, ball to seven now. Really took him out of being able to sneak it and hand it off three or four plays in a row. But uh, you've got a uh, first down situation here, so got and, plenty of downs. And Barbosa is not under center. No. Be ready for him to keep the ball off the edge. He's going to throw. He goes oh, to he's roll. Not. He's got a chance. He throws it up, and oh it's – did he catch it? Touchdown, Calumet. Mm. I thought he was going to have to scramble for that. The Crimson Wave score first, mm. and they'll lead in this ball game. With 11.29 left to go, or 25, excuse me, left to go here in the third period. So early in the third period, Calumet College gets the turnover from St. Mary the Woods, and they score. And that's the um, the key there that I was just getting ready to mention. They got that turnover. See if they can convert this PAT. Snaps down, kicks up. And it's good, seven to nothing Calumet when we return for more action on Indiana Sports Network. Grace Clinic Health Professional. Affordable, compassionate, comprehensive health care for the whole family. In Terre Haute and Greencastle. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. So the Crimson Wave on the scoreboard first in this championship ball game of the Midwest Sprint Football League. Seven to nothing here in the third period. No score at the end of the first half as it was a defensive struggle. One turnover now. Yep. And that turnover just changed the whole momentum. Everything. A 29-yard drive. And it didn't take Calumet very long to get in the end zone. And again, Barbosa is the guy. Yep. They kicked this one deep down to the two. Huge leg. Over to the right side is Hazard. Penalty flag down, two of them, as they're going to have a half the distance on this one. We'll see what the officials actually going to call block in the back or a hold. St. Mary the Woods is going to find themselves way deep on this one. They're going to move it back to the 16-yard line. Ball will be placed at the eight, the way it looks, and that is a block in the back. They say they got him right in the back. So the ball will be at the eight yard line, first and 10 for St. Mary of the Woods. At the beginning of this contest, what did I say? Turnovers and penalties. Those are the two things that St. Mary of the Woods has got to limit in the one turnover. I mean, it, it's not like you have to, you know, have a bunch to, for it to bite you. That one, it could be just one. It doesn't It'll be take one much. mistake. That one turnover tried to feed that pass in there and just got undercut and a nice play on the defense and then they opportunities because they score. For Calumet College, the third time's the charm. They had it inside the 10 three yeah, times. That's right. 
And that third time made the difference. They're going to put the ball over the edge, off the edge, running, and he gets nailed for a loss, a big one. It's a five-yard loss. That ball be placed can, at the three-yard line. You can try to go east-west on these guys if you want to. That's not what I would do. I mean, There's it, it, too much speed, too much athleticism to try to get to that edge unless you've got a couple of uh, uh, blockers in front of you. You can see a big difference in how the the Crimson Wave are responding in this. I mean, that defense is sky high right yep, now. They, they know they, they made be. the difference with the turnover, mm -hmm. and they're they're really hungry for another one. I was going to say that. They really want something right here, you can tell. Yeah. Ears, ears are pinned back, aren't they? They really are, and they're all up at the line of scrimmage mm -hmm. with a, with a five-man front. They're going to throw it outside. He catches, makes one man miss, and he'll get up. He'll get the five yards back. But that'll make it third and ten. But just, boy, just keep the, uh, to an underneath throw, and then you rally to the football. Just textbook defense there by the Crimson Wave to force a third and long. So it's third and ten for St. Mary the Woods as they'll try to do something with this one. Trips formation here to the bottom of the screen. Single back in the backfield. Looks, they went the rollout. Look they got out. a man in the edge, and he yeah. throws it out of bounds, and that will bring up fourth down. And that field position is a big key for St. Mary of the Woods. They have not been able to get that ball over the 50-yard line, and here they're going to have to punt with the punter standing in the end zone. And Better. they've had punt snap issues. Yes, they have. You got to run, uh, uh, you know, uh, roll out your quarter right hand quarterback to the left. With the defense bearing down on them, trying to set your feet, pivot your body, make a throw, that's tough right there. That's real, real tough. Darren Hazard back to take the snap. They've had punt snap issues. This is a good one. And they're going to have a legal procedure. That'll mark half the distance. Well. <laughs> Somebody moved. That's half the distance. Yeah. Now he's going to be back almost to the back edge of the end zone. And you got to try to snap this thing again. We have, they've had a good snap there. And you're asking, would you... Even if that happens, would you make somebody punt over again? That's why you make yeah. people yeah. punt and punt again. Mm -hmm. This one was called with the officials because it was a dead ball foul. But even if you get one that you have to make somebody punt again, that's what you want to do. Five men up to rush. They're actually looking at the return, and that's, he gets one. Good. It's a wobbler out there. It's going to roll, but it rolls sideways out of bounds Take at the 37-yard line, and that's where Calumet College will have it when we return for more on Indiana Sports Network. The city of Brazil was founded in 1866. By 1876, there were two schools, seven dry goods stores, two hardware stores, four churches, and five drug stores. One of those drug stores is still there today, Lynn's Pharmacy. Lynn's Pharmacy has grown from a small neighborhood drug store to a modern pharmacy, offering prescriptions and medical equipment with old-fashioned values and unparalleled service. You can even step back in time and visit Lynn's Soda Parlor here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. Calumet College with the ball, first and 10 at the 37 on another drive close by. They're going to hand the ball off. It's tackle and a nice tackle made there by Austin Petrillo right in the gap. So your safety's up playing on the tight end. They went weak side that time. They didn't get restless over here, Herb. They're, they're wanting the ball put in the end zone there. Yeah. After getting after these. Here we go. Double tights again, eye formation. 5-3 defense for the Woods. Hammered Ooh. right in the middle. They missed it. him in the backfield. And there he goes. That and he makes, he slips on his own out there. Now I tell you that turf monster, man. You got to complete that tackle in the backfield for the three-yard loss. Very unfortunate there for Antis that tried to make his cut and he slipped. Fortunate for the for the St. For the, for the Woods. Also, glad he didn't injure himself on, on that. Sometimes the injury can happen in a situation like that. So Third down and six. 
Well, St. Mary of the Woods still was dominating up front. Yeah. Their issue has been they they release somebody or somebody makes a scramble play, and that's how these games are won and lost. Somebody makes a big play. Double tights, eye formation. Barbosa must snap it, and he Time waits. Out. Time out. They called Time timeout out. to save him because yep. the clock was running down, and they would have lost five yards on that one. We'll pause for this timeout. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. I'm Ryan Luce with State Farm in Clinton, Indiana. We're here to help life go right for you and your family. Our team takes pride in helping families in the Wabash Valley. With all of their insurance and financial needs. We are here to make your claims process simple. Like a good neighbor. I'm all pro running back Jonathan Taylor for York Automotive. York is my number one pick for your next car, truck, or SUV. Shop from over 600 vehicles at YorkAutomotive.com today. You're number one at York. I ran out of my pain meds too quickly. I took more and more to get through my day. I did anything to get them. I needed help. I needed hope. I found them both. Professional. Safe. No wait times. Quality treatment. Regain something lost. Call or go to winrecovery.org. Three receivers, top of your screen. Barbosa, pump fake, and there yeah. he goes. Quarterback draw, and he's the athlete. Yes, he is. And with him, that gives them an opportunity to get pick up the first down. The ball will be at the 21-yard line, where it will be first and 10, Cal Met. There was no thought about him actually throwing that ball. You spread them, you have running lanes everywhere. Uh, you pump fake, and you pick your lane, and you go. And that's, that's on the reverse. You know, the, the, the thing that we would want to see on the other side as well um, to, to get that quarterback out there and, and run him a little bit, try to open things up. Boy, putting him at quarterback was a big change yes. for them and yep. just open things up. That's why Coach Novak makes the big bucks, man. <laughs> make it, don't make those decisions like that. It's not perfect, but it gives no. you a chance every single play. They yep. run it up the middle, and Andis picks up about four. Helmet comes off, and players got to come out. It looks like, uh, unfortunately, that was uh, George uh, Montes that's got to come out from uh, Kokomo. And right now, Calumet is in the process of controlling the football game. I, well, I tell you, they, they um, uh, look at time of possession. Um, even with the, the stats, the limited stats that they have in the season, they dominate the ball. Today, he's really dominating the ball. And they've done it on the opposite side of the field. They're going to yeah. hammer it off tackle, running, and picking up about two yards. It'll be third and five. Make it third and four on this one. We want to thank our sponsors, A-plus Printing, Crane Credit Union, Fearless Designs, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Great Dane, the Hamilton Center, Honey Creek Collision, Lynn's Pharmacy, Mossy Oak, Surf Pro, and York Automotive. Big third down. Trying to get a guard in, and that they brought him back into the ball game. Three man front, here comes the movement. They try to throw it down the middle, oh, yeah. got him oh, open, he missed, he missed him again. Yeah, I missed him again. That was a touchdown right there. He had that slant. Uh, the first half they had one that was, uh, uh, didn't, uh, wasn't find the connection on. Uh, but boy, the, the, the scheme is there. This uh, didn't quite execute. And they're gonna try one more field yeah. goal attempt. Yeah, I, and you're gonna try to do game. that. Yep. Yeah, make it a two possession game. You're at, well, you're at fourth and four. So, you know, fourth and four, he'll place the ball down at about the th the 21, which makes it a 31-yard field goal attempt. You know the limitations of the kicker. You still have Barbosa holding. Jared says, kick up, and it looks good, and it is good. A 10 to nothing lead for Calumet College when we return for more action here on Indiana Sports Network. When you're buying a car, getting a mortgage for your dream home, taking out a personal loan, or growing your small business, you know exactly what you need. At Crane Credit Union, our personal banking experience can help you get there. 
We are here to make your life easier so you can focus on what really matters. Visit cranecu.org to see how we can help you reach your goals. Crane Cares, Crane Credit Union, committed to investing in you and your community. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. So a 10 to nothing lead for Calumet College as they have started to take control of the ball game here in the second half. Two mm -hmm. quick scores on two possessions. The first one off of a St. Mary of the Woods in, uh, turnover and the second one as they took the football off of a very short punt because their defense gave them uh, opportunities again. It's been the defense for Calumet okay. College that's caused the issue. Uh, they're, just, they're just kind of grinding and worn down uh, this Pomeroy offense to run, what, five or six plays this half? Ball picked Look up at the 20, Good only coverage. a 10, 11-yard to return. The ball's at the 21. We want to thank our sponsors for today's game, A-plus printing, Crane Credit Union, Fearless Designs, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Great Dane, the Hamilton Center, Honey Creek Collision, Lynn's Pharmacy, Mossy Oak, Serve Pro, York Automotive, the transportation for Indiana Sports Network is provided by York Automotive. They have six locations in Brazil, Greencastle, Crawfordsville, and Plainfield. You know, Herb, uh, you're looking at, you know, some slump shoulders, some body posture yep. uh, over on the side of the football field that I, I'd I, you know, like to not see. Hey, you, as you say in baseball, you're a bloop and a blast. Bloop and a blast away as you, you know, get up, get a score and get a hold, of course, a turnover, something like that. You're, you're only a two possession game, it's a 10 point game. So, a lot of time left. You still got 18 minutes of this, uh, this, oh, uh, tw no, bad math. 21 minutes <laughs> in this football game. Uh, so, there's a lot to it still happen. So, I want to see some guys kind of rally a little bit here. Oh, fake, they went for the ball. They, they got it open. He caught it. Big gain, it's first time they're over the 50 yard line and balls at the 47, it'll be first down for St. Mary of the Woods. Boy, you look at the Brian Walker bit on that pump fake there and uh, he's saying to his guys, hey, it's okay, settle down, <clears throat> we're still okay. Pomeroy's first big play of the game. <laughs> they really needed a play like that to yeah. boost their effort. Mm -hmm. We'll see what's gonna happen here, signaled it in, here it comes. Toski back. They'll run it inside and again going virtually nowhere. They'll pick up two yards, but that front for Calumet has yep. been extremely good. Sure has. You look at uh, Trevor Boosie has been in there all day long. He's been in that backfield causing all kinds of problems. Alexander uh, De La Roche, uh, De La Coach. I'm sorry, I'm butchering his name. I apologize to his family. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> and here it comes again. Underneath, they go double, re the the double crisscross, and they got nowhere. They're going to pick up another two yards. How It'll sound is this defense? They just sit, and they play with their hands. Yeah. They don't get blocked. They do a really nice job. Chris uh, Davenport, Sam Daniels, the, the co-defensive coordinators, for Calumet College doing a bang up job. Couple subs in for St. Mary of the Woods. Two backs now in the backfield as they bring in Keandre Jones and set him alongside uh, Patrick Perea. Two downs here, two downs hurt. Potentially two downs. They're going to get them set up. Play clock at They four. covered the tight end. If they throw this, it could oh, have been did a. We call a timeout. We yep. did. Oh and, no! And they're very fortunate oh. they covered. They called the timeout. We'll take one as well, and I'll tell you what, why on the way back through here. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. There is a greatness inside of you, a passion, a strength, a determination. So embrace it. Embrace the greatness that you bring to everything you do. Embrace the idea that you can do work that makes an impact. Work that keeps the country moving forward and our economy strong. Because not everyone has what you have. And that's exactly what connects you to all of us at Great Day. There's greatness inside of you. Are you ready to embrace it? Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. Well, they called timeout 
first of all, they were in the wrong formation. The clock was running, play clock was running down, but they're definitely in the wrong formation. The, the flanker had stepped up to play on the line of scrimmage as a wide receiver, and the tight end left. When that ball was snapped, the tight end left for a route that would have been an easy five-yard uh, penalty. So even if they made the first down, it would have come back. That gave them a chance to set everything, and here they are, an overloaded formation to the right-hand side. They're going to run him in motion. He'll probably get set again, and he does. Looking inside, they'll hand it off, and no, no Toski kept it, but that's a pretty good run. He'll pick up four yards. It'll bring up fourth down, but where they are right now at the 39-yard line, they need to pick up two for the first down. And it'll be a tough two. Do you run that same play? maybe the opposite direction. But that play has been successful when you're running Toski. I don't know what you want to do that all day because you're going to get him hurt. Um, but with fourth and two, boy, it's good. running has been tough against uh, Calumet College. Tough opportunity. Here they come. Double wing. Play clock five. Double deuce formation. Hand it. They went nope. for No, they kept it. He got the first down, and he kept going, and he's inside the 35. That's a first down, and St. Mary of the Woods is on the drive. That is a tough uh, five or so, five yards or so uh, that, that we just, just uh, amassed. When you look at the aggressive nature of this defense, you know, you think maybe you try to get him going one direction and, and go the other way to see if their pursuit goes against them. Um, and, and you see the most tried that a couple of times. First and 10, ball to 30 or 20, oh, 34. Toski goes to bit. roll out, got a man, he threw it in the uh, ground. Yeah, and he good. had the second, we didn't get the read. They had a flood route and they had two on one with a safety down the field and he yeah. couldn't look. Well, he was so worried about bobbing that, that snap and getting the ball off, not taking a sack, he couldn't even get his mind to look downfield uh, at all. He just wanted to make sure he don't take that snap, get, get rid of the ball. That's what pressure mm. does in That's a ball right. game. That's right. Two by two set. Pipes and diamonds. Double twins. Second and 10. Got to back out of the backfield. Look oh, out. Almost got it picked. Man, oh man. Man, oh man. Is and that it was two fold look out because the yep. quarterback got decked potentially and the back almost got a pick six on him. Quadarius Davis, is, uh, he's, he's had, a, had himself a day. Uh, looked really solid out there on the corner. He's, uh, boy, he's, uh, who's, who had to come off the field? Well, coming off the field yeah, is Patrick Perea. Perea. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Another big third down. How many third and eight. That? I'd love to see this, this uh, uh, snap. The plays get a little faster. Need a little urgency. Here we go. Third and eight. Playcock running down. They're going to do it out inside. There he goes. He's got him down the sideline. In the middle. Open. Short. Out of bounds. Well, and, and finally, we had uh, a Toski with time. Uh, and they had that. The linebacker had made the decision. Do I stay in coverage or do I come up and get Toski? And at the very last minute, he decided to come up, left the receiver open. Couldn't quite get that first down, but it gives you an opportunity with the fourth and uh, short, very manageable. Three yards to go. They need a fourth and three to continue the drive. And they're re you're really not in a situation to kick the field goal. No, no. Twins, they ran their version of mesh the last time. Pump, got a man open, no. pick six. Too late. There he goes, down the sideline, and it's a foot race to the end zone. Can Toski catch him? He does, he pulls him out, should be a, should be a flag. I think it's... And they're, they're flagged down? I, either that or debris. It looks like it's debris. Okay, all right. Got him tackled, but a turnover. That was a close one. You could see him coming. Yeah. They tried to throw that two or three times, and each time they've gotten in trouble. They know the short route is coming, and I just talked about him. Quindarius Davis from Benton Harbor has had himself a day. Second turnover, second interception. You know the ball's coming out quick. You can jump that route. 
They did it once again, and boy, I'm telling you, this defense. Ball, hawking, secondary, with their 17th interception of the season. And they're asking for it. And again, here it comes. Calumet College with the football. First and goal at the 10. Can you get one more hold to your Pomeroy defense? That's asking for a lot. But need to find need, a way. Need to force the field goal yep. one way That's or right. the other. That's right. Overloaded formation to this side. He moved. That'll yeah, cost him another he five. I, I like the fact that he tried to hide it, though. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Uh, he, uh, he, he flinched and he kept his head down like, ooh, maybe they won't see me. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll bring up first and first and goal to 15. Alexander, Alexander Delachoy. Alexander. What, what, what is it? Delachoy. Okay. All right. I'm going to go with that. That's how I, I'm going to do it. I butchered it twice. I didn't want to go 0 for 3 and, and just get banned from calling uh, Calumet College games for the rest <laughs> of my life. So. Overload to the left-hand side. Bunch. They're going to go inside. They're right to the edge, and they've got him, yeah. and he's held up for no gain. Okay. Now, that's a start. Now, you got to do that three more times. Two more times, potentially, the field goal. Huge championship game. A 10-point lead for Calumet College. We're approaching one minute into the th uh, left in the third period. We're going to spread this thing out for Calumet College here. Oh, yeah, and then yeah. we're uh -huh. then then you're going to let the quarterback roam. Oh, yeah, going to have a little fun here. Here we go. I've uh, played on teams like this. I've coached teams where you have a really athletic quarterback, and the more you can get him spread and boot off of him, the better you are. I love it under center here, too. They ran the inside trap and missed oh, the tackle, and there he goes down the sideline. Yeah, touchdown, sure. Calumet. Mm -mm -mm. They didn't get a trap block, but the back kept running and picks up the touchdown. Jamal Warnall from Oakdale, Louisiana, bringing something to the mix there. Is uh, boy, that was, a, that was a great play. We haven't seen that today. No. Yep, yep. And and again, they tried to run the inside trap, and they couldn't get the lineman to peek his head over the top. But at the same time, he just ran right over top. He logged it to the block, which is what it's called. Instead of kicking him out, he logged over the top and just kept running. Mm -hmm. Once you get to the edge and you're on one-on-one -on -one blocking with those secondary guys, you got a shot. And uh, a really good one. Oh, boy, did he hit him? Oh, come on, come on, come on now. Oh, cooler heads got to prevail here. A little frustration out there, you know. You, you don't want that. That's the kind of stuff, you know. Well, okay. You really don't want that. one again, it's sixteen to nothing right now. This is a big. This is a big extra point if you can yeah, stop yeah. this when you're yeah. still two scores down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the substitution here as well. Okay. We have a legal substitution on St. Mary the Woods. That's declined. They're going to start it again. So you're going to see an extra point block attempt by St. Mary the Woods. They need to keep this within a two-score game. They've already blocked one. They didn't get this one. That was a really nice yeah, job, but Probably there's gone. something going on yeah, in the I'm interior. Yeah, I'm taking this one up. We'll see a penalty on this one. All the officials are gathered together. Everybody's going off the field. That's, that's not on them. <laughs> yeah. And it's on St. Mary the Woods from what we're hearing. We'll see if this one goes that way. Unsportsmanlike against St. Mary the Woods. That'll go on the kick, kick off. kick off, and we'll take a short break. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and the communities we call home. We are hiring now for trailer assemblers and welders across the country. We need the makers. 
people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Build something bigger for yourself and your family with great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. And we'll see this uh, penalty assessed on the kickoff and unsportsmanlike against St. Mary of the Woods. They'll march this one up. It's a 15 yard penalty. They'll kick it from the 50. And the kicker in Jared Says from First Academy Howie in the Hills, Florida has been able to pound it close to the end zone every time. So this should go either in the end zone or he's going to squib it and try to pin him somewhere inside the 20. Kick it, kick it in the end zone. Let him not be able to return it. You don't want anything, any magic to happen. you got some returners that can uh, make a little magic happen. Could go to the 25 as well when you don't necessarily yeah. want that one. Well, I'd take the 25 as opposed to giving him a chance to make something happen. He puts it deep. Yeah, I get, you know, that's yep. like a lot. A lot of people are thinking, boy, you had that five-yard penalty on St. Mary the Woods on the extra point. Why doesn't he, you know, take the penalty and go for two? Well, it doesn't make any difference. Is he up 17 or 18? It makes no, no difference. No, that's what that's what he's thinking right here. Why give him an opportunity to make a play on the kickoff when they came close to breaking one in the second quarter? So. Or uh, earlier in the game, third quarter, I think it was the start. Our camera operators for today's game, Kanan Harper, Brevin Harper, and Noah Gastineau, where our video technician is Keith Lawson, and we're directed and produced by Tony Harper. Again, St. Mary of the Woods football. First and 10, ball at the 25. Motion across, fake, handoff, throwing it. Toski looking, he should scramble this one. Flag. And they're gonna have a holding call yeah. in the backfield. Got people continuing their blocks. We've been like that all day. You know, this this game, Herb, this this has uh, the makings of, of a game that can go a couple ways. You can have a team, you know, fight to the better end, or this could, this could end up being a 35 point game. You gotta keep your head about, how do you wanna finish your season? The game is still not over, you got a quarter to go. But if you, you lose your head, that's going to get away from you. 36 seconds left to go here in the fourth period. A holding penalty, a move the yep. ball back to the 15-yard How do you line. want to finish your season? That's the question, you know? That's what I'm asking my boys in the fourth quarter. How do you want to finish? Yeah. What do you want people to think about you in the offseason? What kind of taste do you want to have in your mouth? Uh, right now, I'd like to have a taste of one of those burgers they're grilling out there. <laughs> you smell that? <laughs> You smell that, man? Yeah, and, 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 and I've, I bypassed the fast food on the way just to get one of those, by the way. Oh, man. Smells good. <laughs> well, the stands are full in this championship game, and everybody wants to see this thing get close here in the next few moments. Yeah, yeah. St. Mary of the Woods with the football first and 20. Make a little magic happen here, boys. Three receivers, top of the screen. Step back to throw. They're going to throw it deep, and he's going to no. get sacked. No, he doesn't. He escape, throws it out. That's a good play. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be second and 20. You know. And again, the pass blocking has been the letdown in what's yeah. going on with St. Mary. They just haven't been able to block the defensive front. Calumet has put up in the front. Did they bring three there? Yeah, and, and the issue is it's the defensive – ends against those offensive yeah. tackles just they've two, had a struggle yeah, all day too athletic just too too quick too uh, shifty a lot of swim moves that you're seeing out there just they're, they're just having their way they're having their way again three receivers to the top trips they're going to roll out try to throw the football they get him to the edge they throw it out there and it goes off the hands out of bounds Chain guy's going to have to be a little more aware. They almost bent the chains. That's not a good move. <laughs> those, those chains get hit by somebody. They'll bend pretty easily. Third and 20. For the last two minutes of this quarter, I think in like 15 minutes. Well, you've got incomplete passes and yeah. all kinds of different things going on. A couple hold penalties. Mm -hmm. And here it comes. Third and 20.
sets back, and he almost, he does get sacked. So another sack, four, four-man pressure, but a sack by Calumet College, and again, they force a punt in this one, and that's the end of the third period of play. It's 17 to nothing, Calumet College. We'll come back with the fourth quarter. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. Treatment for those with mental illnesses and addiction issues has evolved over the years. In the late 1960s, Indiana's mental health system began to take shape. From 1971 to 2021, Hamilton Center has touched the lives of thousands of people in central and west central Indiana. We are committed to the latest therapies to improve the quality of life for those with mental illnesses. Treatment works. Recovery is possible. And thank you, Indiana. Today's vehicles often require additional procedures such as computer scans for even simple repairs. This ensures that your crash avoidance system and distance sensors are functioning properly. At Honey Creek Collision, we invest in the latest equipment and technology and provide continuing education for our technicians to ensure a high quality and safe repair. Honey Creek Collision is a second generation, family owned and operated business that you can trust. So when your insurance company asks, tell them you're going to Honey Creek Collision. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. Fourth and 21. And St. Mary of the Woods will punt. Darren Hazard back. He's had a couple opportunities where things have gone really south on their punt team. We'll see if we can get a good snap here. He's standing at the end zone. Almost got it blocked. Good punt, got it rolling. And the ball clear down to the 37 yard line, they'll say 38 yard line. And that's where we'll start when we return for more on Indiana Sports Network. Your all pro running back, Jonathan Taylor here for York Automotive. Looking for an all pro deal on your next car, truck, or SUV? York is my number one pick. With over 600 vehicles in stock, York has the largest selection to meet your needs. We're talking new, pre-owned, and commercial vehicles. Take it from one all pro to another, York has your best deal. Shop online at yorkautomotive.com and we'll show you why we're not number one, you are. We're not number one, you are. You're number one at York. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. Two tight ends and two flankers into the ball game. They'll play action and here he comes off the edge and he goes down a five yard loss. That's good defensive play by St. Mary of the Woods as the defensive and a flag. Ends. And there's another flag. Yeah, it's frustration boiling over it. How do you want to finish your season? You got a very late penalty because you want to mouth off to the uh, to the referee. That's just not gonna you know it's not gonna work for you. It's just not gonna work for you. So usually the second guy that gets caught, and he did, it didn't get the flag because of extracurriculars. He got the flag because you said something to the official. That's the worst part. You just keep your mouth so shut, you don't get a penalty. Could have been second and 15. It should be a first down. We'll see how close this one gets. Boy. Official with the signal, dead ball, unsportsmanlike against St. Mary the Woods. That's the second of those this, uh, this half. In the last few plays. Yeah, I mean, it's just... That'll be a first down for Calumet College of St. Joe. And they'll line one up again. Double tights. Flanker on the right. Two back set. Option oriented. Barbosa will take the snap. There comes their counter, and they'll pick up just two yards. Don't react. <laughs> like you can hear me out there. I'm telling you, it's like we're just getting, you know, baited 
into reacting. He would keep falling for it. Gain of one, it'll be second and nine. Same basic set. Two tight ends, two backs in the backfield. And Calumet College is going to run this one down all the way throughout this fourth period. Looking, got to back out of the backfield. They're looking down the field. They'll throw the little hitch out to the edge. He'll pick up a few yards. Mm -hmm. Who was that that made that catch? I, uh... See who that was. Looked like 34. That's what I thought as well. Yeah, it was. It was. And uh, the, the the way the bench uh, erupted, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like it's the the one. I mean, I'm not, well, they're not going to throw it very saying. often. He's, yeah, so they're not going to throw it very often. They're glad that he got a grab. That's why I made me wonder who he was. That catch is a big a big thing mm -hmm. and because it keeps the clock running yeah. and it keeps everybody going. They're going to have to take a timeout here. Yeah. Coach not happy. Coach. Is and it is happy. timeout. Calumet, and we'll take one as well. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. When you're buying a car, getting a mortgage for your dream home, taking out a personal loan, or growing your small business, you know exactly what you need. At Crane Credit Union, our personal banking experience can help you get there. We are here to make your life easier so you can focus on what really matters. Visit cranecu.org to see how we can help you reach your goals. Crane Cares, Crane Credit Union, committed to investing in you and your community. There is a greatness inside of you, a passion, a strength, a determination. So embrace it. Embrace the greatness that you bring to everything you do. Embrace the idea that you can do work that makes an impact. Work that keeps the country moving forward and our economy strong. Because not everyone has what you have. And that's exactly what connects you to all of us at Great Day. There's greatness inside of you. Are you ready to embrace it? Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. 17 to nothing. 12.55 left to go in the ball game. Calumet College with the football and the lead. Third and five. Letting that clock run is Calumet College. You're going to throw the bomb. They put it up. And he's got him. Two defenders run into each other. It's a touchdown for Calumet College, and they go up 23 to nothing. Jacob Omen, uh, the leading receiver uh, for the Crimson Wave, uh, just uh, got down uh, the field uh, behind the coverage. And uh, boy, what a great pitch and catch there. Uh, Barbosa to Omen, and uh, maybe the cherry on top of the Sunday there with that deep shot. Yeah, they took the deep one. Yeah. And he just was there, had a step mm -hmm. and a half on mm -hmm. everybody, and then the safety and the corner ran into each other, mm -hmm. and he walks into the end zone. Mm -hmm. 23 to nothing. And again, the Crimson Wave has really executed in, the, in this second half. Yeah, and that's the perfect word. They, they, they executed. Kick this one up. And it's good. 24 to nothing, Crimson Wave, when we return for more on Indiana Sports Network. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and the communities we call home. We are hiring now for trailer assemblers and welders across the country. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Build something bigger for yourself and your family with great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College. Fast and Furious Women's Basketball coming soon to Indiana Sports Network. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. 12.32 left to go in the ballgame. 
And again, a 24 to nothing lead by Calumet College of St. Joseph. I want to thank our sponsors, A Plus Printing, Crane Credit Union, Fearless Designs, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Great Dane, the Hamilton Center, Honey Creek Collision, Lynn's Pharmacy, Mossy Oak, Surf Pro, and York Automotive. Transportation for Indiana Sports Network is provided by York Automotive with six locations in Brazil, Greencastle, Crawfordsville, and Plainfield. And all of a sudden here in the second yeah. half, it's just been all Calumet College. You remember at halftime when it was uh, Zippo to Zippo? It was 0-0. Every time Calumet College has touched the football in the second half, they have scored. Yeah, somebody's got to grab this thing. Here it comes. Got an opportunity to the outside, and he gets tackled at the, about the 24. He gets tackled by a guy who was going to the ground. Uh, it was uh, Dante Hamilton was going to the ground, uh, trying to stay on, after trying to stay on his feet to make a tackle, and just kind of st kind of stuck his head out a little bit and made a tackle. Boy, what and a what a what a demoralizing half. It has just thus, thus far. It, it, it has really the deflating, demoralizing. About 18 minutes of mm. football that they want to take yeah, back. Yes, they do. Toski throwing it deep, has a man open, and he oh, dropped gosh. the football in the open area. And it was right off his fingertips. It wasn't the greatest pass, but you really would have liked to have seen him pull that one in. Let me kind of stretch out, dive, leave your feet. He wanted a home run hit or get, you know, go all the way to the house with it. Sometimes kind of dive a little bit, outstretch that thing, get another. But uh, just just a, just a hair off, you know, just a hair off. Kind of how it works at certain yeah. points. Play clock down to about 15 seconds. They're going to have to get this moving again. That's the tough one when you're throwing deep passes or doing something else. Here There's their mesh Look view, out. and he's going to throw that Look one out. out. Picked off oh. at the 30. Didn't get it out of bounds like he thought he was going to with Davis. His second interception of the afternoon. And if you're looking, that would easily oh. go for the defensive play. Uh, when I say this, and the uh, defensive player potentially of the of the ball game, you take you get two turnovers and have the yeah. opportunity to score. That'll do it. He, he, I think he snatched it away from Boosie, who in the first half was lights out. Uh, but Davis in the second half has just been like a play after play. I guess they're just trying to. They wanted to see, see if he completed caught it. it. Yeah. yeah, completed okay. the catch to the ground and got, would have had to make a football move. He did first down, Calumet College, ball to 30-yard line. And again, the, the Crimson Wave is doing a tremendous job of controlling the clock, moving the football. And now, again, you can't say enough about their actual – quarterback change they made earlier yeah, in the right. season and speaking of that they've made another one even in this ball game yep. they're going to hand the ball off tackle he runs to the edge he got a potential hold on this one we'll see what this one is into the ball game as a quarterback is Destry Peebles Peoples, the quarterback from Kip Atlanta Collegiate in Atlanta, Georgia. He is now the quarterback in the ball game, and, and he's one of those guys that played earlier. He he did, and that's Barbosa took over for him, you know, just a few weeks ago. So, uh, the flag. We'll see what this thing is going to be. And again. Crimson wave. Crimson Line wave. judge made the call, and I don't know what they're waiting on this and holding it okay. against Calumet College. They'll move this one back. Crimson Wave used three quarterbacks for the season. As, uh, they've uh, really found something. Well, they uh, found the Barbosa. man who's going to make people yeah. miss. Man, I tell you. And, and Barbosa has done that. Yeah, I, I think he's a sophomore, I think. I, don't quote me. But I think he's a sophomore. This goes all the way back to there, 45. My goodness. It's as uh, 10 and 15. Mm. So you've got a 25-yard series of penalties. First one is a hold. The second one is an unsportsmanlike. You're going to move it back 25 yards, and it's first and 35. One more penalty. They'll be snapping this from Grandma Veras. Yeah. 
Move people up, double tights. They're going to hammer it off to the off tackle hole. And really, as long as Calumet College just holds it, the ball's on the ground, but they're going to say he's down with forward progress. Ball to be at the 46. He gained a yard on the play, make it two. And yeah, five yards on the, I mean, five seconds on the play and 40 seconds between them. You just drain this clock and, and let the defense eat. That's all they're going to do. A lot yeah. of substitutes into this one as they bring in the spread unit and bring in Barbosa again. So they'll bring him in one more time. They'll hustle to get it going. Bunch trips. They get him set. Two, one. Ball snapped. Yeah. He just got it off. Yeah. Looking deep, he has a man oh open down the sideline. Oh. And now they're going to have offensive interference. Oh, my goodness. It'll be offensive interference. That'll be okay. a 15-yarder. I was to say, Herb, no way. Defender was ready to make the catch, yeah. and the offensive guy hit him. And if they go the other direction, that won't be good. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll lose complete control right at that moment. Mm-hmm. They're pointing and they're going to they're pointing the other way. No way. Nope. Holding. Oh, holy my goodness. Smoke. Whoa. Oh, my. That's 10 yards. You know what's really going to make oh. you mad? It's a first down. That's the one. Good grief. Well, it wasn't on the guy he was throwing to. They, they saw something, but it wasn't to the guy they were throwing to. That'll be first down and 10. So they give up all of that penalty yardage that they had, and it creates a first down. Oh, my goodness. And here we go. Trips to the bottom of the screen. potential to run off another three or four minutes they're going to hand it off makes run. a move down the sideline and there he goes down inside the 25 yard line Elijah and, and we got another penalty flag oh man and, and another Two. well but the second one is a con confirmation of the first in college football and another and a, there's that's, that's the, not a confirmation right there no Herb. that's a, that's, a that's 15 a new one. yarder that's a new one right there okay so you're going to have two penalty flags on this one. One is a post play, and the other one is during the play. So there should be two penalties on this one. Guess, guess what? Chances are <laughs> these two teams will play first game of the season next year. Oh, my. Chances are. That would be the better, that both, would be the better of everything. Both years, these two teams have played the championship game. Last year, St. Mary of the Woods won up in Hammond at Calumet College. This year is trending uh, that Cod, the Crimson Wave will get their uh, the comeuppance. Chances are they'll be first game of the season. Uh, and I do believe that would be here if that holds that way. We talked about the budding rivalry. <laughs> you see a lot of emotion, obviously, in the championship game. These two teams are a little chippy. And they've been chippy since the first quarter. So... Well, the games have been fairly close. They have. But this one is not appearing that way. As of late. You remember when it was 17 to nothing, they scored, we had that personal foul that said, if we're not careful, that's going to be 35 to nothing. Yeah. That's where we're, I mean, we're not there, but it's just how do you want to finish your season? Do you, you know, you have to finish strong. I don't care what the score is. You have to have your head about you. you got to finish the game strong with dignity and class. Represent yourselves the right way. And there's been too many mistakes, personal fouls, and unsportsmanlike called against St. Mary of the Woods. And personal foul <laughs> against the offset. Calumet. And personal foul. <laughs> oh my gosh. He doesn't even know. He doesn't know. He's looking for help. No, it's an unsportsmanlike. Yeah, you, oh my God. Everybody. What is that? No. <laughs> Wait a minute. Suck it down. <laughs> They're bring it, the whole thing canceled out. 
That won't be in the, on any clinic tape, referee clinic tapes. I well, should. it's the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be able to tell everybody what's That's going what on. That's what I'm saying. And that won't be on the clinic it. tape. It's the presentation. It's probably there was the a lot right. going on. Then I'll, I'll give. Now him look. Now, now listen. It's yes, probably it. the right call. Yeah, but it was a lot going on, and I, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. I w I'm just. I would not have been able to get that call right. I was just saying. No. That no. was a tough one. That was a tough one right there. You got, you got three, four things going on. You got to try to. You need some help from your buddy. Hey, man, what, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Help me out. I'm not making fun of him. I'm just saying that was tough. Well, one of the guys I know. Okay. I, that <laughs> That's a really good official, and he does a lot of college games. Okay. Because I've seen him at two this year, believe it or not. I've seen him at two college games other than here. Oh, that's an illegal. That's illegal. But he didn't call it. And that's illegal, too. The tackle is not close to being on the line of scrimmage. And they pulled him, and they faked the pull and handed the ball off five-yard gain. And there's another flag. Two, there's your confirmation third. You got a flag and two confirmations there, Herb. <laughs> well, they're going to move this one back. Gee whiz. It's an illegal oh. cut. We'll see if they call it that well, way. No, they, they got... At, at, away from the ball. No, I, that's After what I'm the, saying. It's an illegal oh, chop. Okay, okay. At least that's what I saw. But yeah. we'll see how they interpret the block. Second down. Mm -hmm. After the play. He's going to say no. He's asking, the umpires are asking him if it's a first down play, and he's saying no, it's going to be second down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Playing the Jeopardy music. <laughs> oh, man. And here oh, we go. Oh, that's funny. It's a 15-yard, and they're going to call that one a, an unnecessary roughness personal foul is what it actually is. So a 15-yard penalty, and the clock is not running. No, it is not. Now it should be. There we go. And there it is. Well, this has been a rough fourth quarter. We're just getting started in this thing. And it's still rolling. Ball be snapped with about 10 minutes left to go in the game. Double tights, I formation for Calumet. And they'll run option. Mm. Quarterback makes two guys, three guys miss. They've got a hold call. And this one could go back as well. Can we have a play without a penalty? I'm not saying don't call it. I'm saying, can we play some football, boys? We well, got penalties all over the place. This well, is just. That's definitely a hold, an area yeah. where a hold is going to be called. Oh, wow. Yep. So there's preliminary signal is holding. <coughs> At a certain point, you won't take calls, but this is not it. You know, you remember the first half? It was 0 0. You said it's not because guys are not playing well, the defenses are just dominant. Right now, this is not good football. Nobody's playing well. No, this is just flat out. But at the same time, Calumet College is trying to cruise through and get this thing over with. And since that penalty happened five yards down the field, they move it back 10 yards from the spot of the penalty. It's really, it ends up being about a 20 yard penalty is what this one ends up off of the play that Calumet ran. What is this? That is a... That is an unsportsmanlike. Somebody said something on Golly. the sideline. Lee. Guaranteed that's what happened. Yeah, he's pointing, the coach is pointing at somebody. Who is, he's trying to find out who it is. Somebody's going to be escorted out of here. Yeah. Oh, boy. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> and. So a 15-yard penalty be coming up on this one. 
dead ball. Unsportsmanlike. And we'll have another 15 yards. This one is, yeah, if nothing else, it is entertaining for I, me. That's I, it. Have, I, I, I haven't announced this one for a while. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say that far because this is definitely not entertaining for me. But this is unlike anything that I've seen. I will give you that. <laughs> I want to see some football. I don't want to see a little hokey pokey. You know, turn your, turn your, what is, I don't know whatever's next after that. <laughs> Do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. There you go. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> St. Mary the Woods showing blitz and they bring it up the middle and he'll be wrapped up for no gain. Man, he'll lose a yard. Everybody show your hands. Everybody show your hands. All right. Everybody show your hands. And the clock is running. Yep. So in the process of this, it's been about three minutes of play where really Calumet College hasn't moved much. It's, the ball's moved forward and backward and everything else and really hasn't gone anywhere. No, they have not. <laughs> Second and 11. Play clock down to four. Might have to call a timeout. There it is. Timeout. And there's a timeout. We'll take one as well. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. You're watching the Indiana Sports Network. At Lynn's Pharmacy, we're more than just your pharmacist. We're your neighbors. Our kids go to the same schools. We eat at the same restaurants. We sit next to you in church. When I listen to a symptom. When I fill a prescription. When I offer advice, I'm not just helping a customer. I'm helping my neighbor and a friend. My name is Lynn Hofstetter, and I'm the proud owner of Lynn's Pharmacy, a modern pharmacy with old-fashioned values and personal service, dedicated to keeping you, your family, and our community healthy since 1872. Here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. At Indiana Land and Lifestyle, we go to great depths to list and sell your property. <laughs> if your agent isn't willing to go to these depths, six acres with bass, to list and sell your property, don't you think that's a little fishy? And there's fish everywhere. Oh! And snapping turtles! For all your Indiana land needs, check us out at indianalandandlifestyle.com. Oh, that's gross. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. Calumet College with the football eye formation. Double tights. So we'll start this one again. They called a timeout to try to avoid five-yard penalty. They're going to hand it off tackle, and there he goes up over the right side. He'll pick up about five yards. It'll be third and five. That's a nice gain right there to set up a third and manageable. Approaching that eight-minute mark here in the fourth period. And again, you're going to see St. Mary the Woods throwing the football. They'll put their, they'll pin their ears back, and like County Met College will try to sack them again. Yeah. That's just the way the ball game's going to yeah. end. That's, that's right. They've been doing that all half. Again, County Met College breaking the huddle late, trying to run the clock out. And they're doing a good job. They do. Option to the side, Ugh, quarterback wrapped up, but not. The They're going to call a flag. Mask. It could be a face, face mask. mask. Yep. He runs out of bounds with the first down, and we'll yep. see what it. No, they say short. They marked him short. Well, face mask will help. I think they tried to get Barbosa, and they grabbed his face mask. Is what I thought. We'll see. Well, everybody's talking it over. <laughs> Well, the conferences that we've had with the officials have been quite long. Yeah, that's I, the one thing that's really difficult. You know, personal, personal foul, foul, face variety. mask, that'll be a 15-yard. Yeah. That'll move the ball down See, to the – inside the red zone, down inside the 20. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was thinking the same thing, but I was going to give him a break and not say it. But you went ahead and <laughs> went there. Thanks. <laughs> I, I think I've seen enough officials in my day uh -huh. to make that observation. Yeah, yeah. You know, I try to be nice to officials. I, I don't want to 
you know, get the rap that, you know. Well, uh, they're, they're great I can people. tell you, I they're can tell people. you about stories where the officials actually like me. Oh, that's not good. very many, uh, but I can tell you stories. <laughs> Story, <laughs> stories or fables? Which no. one are we going with here? <laughs> Shotguns, so they don't have to take one under center. They're going to hand it off again. Same exact play. They're going to put it outside, and boy, that was a that was shot. A, that was a hard nice hit. hit. That was a hard hit. And I will tell you. Uh, Joe Kutch right in front of me just gave me the dirtiest look like <laughs> there's something really wrong and I want to congratulate him on an outstanding career coaching um, at North Central Farmersburg and he, he won't take it but he's done a tremendous job coaching young men for 20 years or more and uh, we're sorry to see him give that part up of his life but I know his wife and family probably says uh, yeah that's a good thing because uh, you give out all that time to people yeah. just like the guys that are doing it here at, at, at this level mm -hmm. and you try to make quality young man and hopefully that's what we're doing here at St. Mary the Woods as well. There's a penalty flag. Looks like a hold yeah, off the edge and he could run down inside the 10 but that one's going to come back. Well, we couldn't have four plays without a penalty, could we? This is, this is unreal. This is unreal, man. That's all right. I can tell you, the uh, I did get a hug from an official. You did? Yes. Okay. We had that's in her, <laughs> and it was her name too. That's the issue. She was from Terre Haute. She came up to uh, officiate one of my ball games, and I had helped her uh, in in the early part of her career by hiring her at lower levels and and that kind of thing. And yeah, I mean, believe it or not, officials are people too. Oh, yeah. Some of us coaches forget that at times, but mm -hmm. we're in a shortage of officials in Indiana. Yeah. Since both of our schools here are in Indiana, um, if you want to get involved in doing something that's really going to help kids out in your area, high school right. officiating for sure, and then have a chance to move up like some of these people do mm -hmm. as well and do college sports, they're in, they have a shortage of officials, and we need to have good ones. Sure do. Their classes, they'll teach you, they'll show you the ropes. Yep. Bring it right on in. So, Second and 15, yeah. clock running at under six minutes now to go in the ball game. They're going to hand it off again. That's a pretty good play, and he gets up, he gets a five yard oh. gain. Boy, I tell you. So it is third down and 11. Make it. Yeah, I'll give it third and 11. Out of all the flags that we've had this second, second half, we probably could have had a dozen more uh, that didn't get called because the referees were trying to be gracious to these wide receivers and DBs who are battling downfield that have nothing to do with the play. They just want to continue their block. They could call a lot of those penalties if they haven't. Seven-minute drive is what we've seen. That's taken 45 minutes. It's, it has taken a yeah. long time third and they'll hand it up the middle and he's not close to the first down but that ball will be placed the 15 yard line where it'll be fourth down uh -huh. and here oh. comes the field goal unit <coughs> so fourth down and they'll bring out the field goal unit again St. Mary the Woods blocked one earlier blocked two earlier in the game is what we'll call two blocks but one of them was actually a sack. 4.30 left to go in a ball game, and it, uh, we're approaching that eight-minute drive mark, and that's been the big that's difference in it. Yeah, that's fantastic. Very impressive. Backup kicker is in. He'll kick this one up. It's blocked. And right did back he, to him, oh he'll throw it gosh, down for a touchdown did because the kick did not serious. cross the line of scrimmage. And that's the weird one. Be serious. That is actually a touchdown. It did not cross the line of scrimmage. It's not a dead ball till it crosses. And at what that are the point, chances? it's it's a. Is what I'm saying. I, I, I know. I know it's a legal play. But I'm saying, what are the chances that actually happens to where it doesn't cross the line of scrimmage? He's el uh, able to pick it up and throw it. They do, they complete the pass for a touchdown. What are the chances? I have not seen a, a completed pass for a touchdown, but actually that whole issue was on a an article I read this morning. I yeah. know that sounds really weird, but I do read stuff on football. 
And Jacob Ullman, the mm -hmm. wide receiver from South Central Union Mills, caught the pass for a score. Wow. We'll see what the officials, and they are going to call it a touchdown. Yeah. That is correct. Yep. Now, you're going to think that's weird. That is actually it the is. correct call. Absolutely. And if the ball doesn't cross the line of scrimmage, it's a live football. The offense can pick it up because it's behind the line of scrimmage. Yep. You can throw it for a touchdown. What presence of mind for the players of uh, Columbia College to continue that play and get the touchdown. That That's great presence of mind. Israel Batista from Calumet New Tech kicks the ball up. He'll get the score for the extra point instead of a field goal. Boy, oh boy, they're partying now, man. I'm telling you what, the fans are over there feeling good. The players are feeling good. This is just, this has turned into a rout uh, here in the second half. Wow. And, and you know, the crowd on this side is not going to like that, but that is actually the correct call. Yeah, it is. You just don't, this doesn't happen. That's no, all. I have, I, believe it or not, I've never seen it happen. Yeah, me neither. I thought it could happen, but I've never seen it. Same thing with a punt. If you kick the, if you <clears throat> punt the football and it's blocked and it ends up behind the line of scrimmage, it's a live football. Yeah. Now, if that ball crossed the line of scrimmage and the offense grabs it, it's a dead ball just like it is a punt. But in this case, that's not what happened. Boy, there are some uh, some really long faces and uh, just despondent young men on uh, on on the Pomeroy side of the uh, football field, and uh, you, you can definitely understand that. You have so many uh, uh, positive aspirations uh, for the season. You get to this opportunity, you get to host the championship game, and you're coming here trying to make it two for two in the Midwest Sprint Football League Championship. Uh, and, and then just things that snowball. When when they start, <laughs> it is so hard to, to stop. stop the yeah, bleeding. It, is. it, it is. is so hard. It is. And I've seen that multiple times. Just part of the way it works. Boy. Kicker kicks this one deep. Nice kick down inside the 10. And here comes the return for St. Mary the Woods. And he gets wrapped up outside the 25. But all the ones that are returning next year, you 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 don't want to shy away from what you feel right now. Whether it no. be the disappointment, the anger, the rage, the frustration, you don't shy away from that. You remember exactly how you felt when it comes to the rest of the semester and making sure you stay eligible, number one. Spring semester, staying eligible. Your off-season workouts, your conditioning programs, your practices. You remember exactly how you felt right now. You do not shy away from that. Don't burn the tape. I am not a, a proponent of burning this tape. I'm not saying they will, but <laughs> man, you remember this. Man, what a rush. Got him there and threw that one to hit the ground. Incomplete pass where it'll be second and 10. No, I... Well, I think I think you do at a certain yeah. point. Just depends. You're going to edit a lot of what's going on, so you can oh, see sure. what's going to happen. And you're going to look at it. When you see this, it may not be until next year before you play them. Mm -hmm. But you know the frustration and the you know the uh, failure. Failure can do so many things to different people, and uh, you know not everybody can handle it. Some people, like an ostrich, you're going to stick your head in the dirt and go and hide. But man, the guys that you want, the guys that Coach Powell wants, that cream of the crop is going to rise. They're going to take this failure and do something positive with it. And that's what I'm saying. You don't burn this tape. You don't forget the feeling. You stick with it. And that drives you. That drives you forward for next season. So there's just a lot of positives that can come out of this. Now, will it? It's up to them. Yeah. It's up to those that return. It's up to those that are continuing to build this program. It's up to the leadership that St. Mary's has on this team. And I'm not saying the, the coaches, I'm talking about the player leadership. It's up to them. That one he did catch. Coach Powell, he can only do so much. These players, some leadership, and I'm not saying they don't have it, do not get me wrong, but the players have got to leave from this failure. 
Carlos Munoz Jr. from Rio Rancho, New Mexico with that catch and a first down. 3.30 left to go in the ball game. Blitz, throw it quick. Got it yep. to Munoz Jr. again. He picks up about nine. They'll give him eight on it where they spot that and said he went down. Got an injured player. He's going to get up. Okay, good. Good. Again, good pressure as they brought the house yep. on that yep. one. Three minutes left to go in a ball game as the clock's running. And again, St. Mary the Woods trying to get on the scoreboard here towards the end of the ball game. Quick, they throw the hitch out to the edge. He has the first down. Clock will stop there, but that'll be it. As uh, he gets seven yards, they'll have to run to the line of scrimmage and see if they can get another playoff. And again, it's always tough to see this one. And um, all these guys can be back. There yeah. are no seniors yeah. that way. Or if they are, they're like one or two. Uh -huh. well, there are. There are just one or two. Munoz Jr. again with another catch as exactly. he's caught several footballs here. You know, sometimes sometimes life is, is cruel, you know. But what do you do when you get smacked in the mouth in life? You you can't you can't hide from it. Well, you we talk pick about up, get co tough. all coaches talk about football teaching you valuable yep. life lessons. What are you going to do? How are you going to handle yourself? That's right. When adversity comes, what's going to take place? And that's going to happen. Of, that's part of life. That's right. That's why if you're teaching this game, if you're actually teaching it, that's what you're going to find. Mm -hmm. And he just got hammered out there. Really nice catch. Yeah for a first down. And St. Mary of the Woods is moving the football now, throwing it pretty effectively. Mm -hmm. But you take a couple turnovers, you take a, a shot here or there, and then you find yourself in trouble. Yeah. Under two minutes left to go as they're driving on this one. Looking, setting back. He'll throw it down the middle of the field. Got a man open. Caught. Gathers himself. He's inside the 10. You know, especially against a good team like uh, Cal to College. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good football team. And just like Coach uh, Powell was saying in the pregame interview, uh, talking about how good they were, how what he felt about them. You know, so yep. can't make mistakes against a good team like this. Nope. Keandre Joan com Jones comes in for Patrick Perea. And they'll go, first and goal, ball to five-yard line. Expecting blitz. They motion out, could have had it, throws the stopper off the edge and just missed him. It's really close. It was close. Had a chance to pick up that stop route and just didn't get it. Under a minute left to go in the ball game now. So here we go. By the way, I know you're gonna you're gonna really think odd of me, but a, <laughs> an official just contacted me through through my email or through my other, and he just got sacked. Tough, tough play that time. Yeah. As they're under 50 seconds in the clock running, but one of the best officials in the state contacted me and said, "Hey, my guys work in this game. I know you know what I mean. It's it, they actually pay attention to what's going on." Right. These guys are football fans as well. Mm -hmm. Last last chance here for St. Mary of the Woods to put the ball in the end zone. 25 seconds left to go. I don't think they've ever been shut out before. Setting down. They don't have enough ball down inside the five, but they're going to have him down at the two. In, yeah, Ten seconds. Play road. Yeah. And that will be the ball game, folks, as these teams will line up. Calumet College of 
St. Joe with the win. A tremendous job by those young men. They've they've waited a year to avenge their loss yeah, from have. last year's championship. Absolutely. And Absolutely. we're going to keep it here for the post game to try to make sure we get to see the trophy being given out. Again, the Midwest Sprint Football League champions. The Calumet College of St. Joe Crimson Wave with a 31 to nothing win. And again, we'll get the stats here in a little bit, but more importantly, it's just the opportunity to see these guys gain the championship from Calumet College. And again, you're going to see you're going to see both these teams next year as potentially the the lead teams in the league one more yeah. time. For college football players, you work an entire year to get to this point, and you really want it to go. And I'm telling you right now, the excitement in, for, from Calumet College is going to be uncontained here in just a moment. As they know, they have worked very hard to get to this point. Yeah. Coaches have changed things throughout the season to give them an opportunity. And they win the championship of the Midwest Sprint Football League. And <laughs> their players are exuberant down in the end zone. Oh, wow. And you got to love that. Yeah, absolutely. They're just, I mean, that's what you want to see. If you're a football coach, a football fan, you're going to see this kind of excitement after the game's over. And again, while the game was on, it was... Not very fun to watch if you were from St. Mary of the Woods, but as it continues, you can just watch these guys. I mean, backflips and yeah. a whole thing. These guys are really going after the fun times, and you'll, they'll remember it's, this for a long time. Yeah, it's not backflips from the same dude. This has got multiple, like, <laughs> half the team doing backflips. It tells you how athletic these guys are. Very athletic. And that makes it, and I, and I don't just bring up that for nothing. You bring up the athleticism to point to how they, how tough they were able to make it for the Pomeroy's. <laughs> I mean, you, they're a tough group to move the ball on. Very athletic, and all these guys in the Midwest Sprint Football League are very athletic young men. It's, yeah. it's not where they just kind of waller on people and move right. them around. They're extremely athletic, and they have that opportunity. So again, they'll get all these guys together and we will have a trophy presentation. Really nice embrace there by uh, I believe Coach Novak and then Barbosa, uh, someone else as well. And just boy, you mentioned the, the change that was made and it's not easy to make that quarterback change. Is it gonna upset some folks? It's, go ahead. Well, that, that and that's kind of what we're seeing. It, you know, people, you take things as important as you possibly, make things as important as possibly can, but uh, the idea is after it's over, you shake hands, you go on, and either you decide that you're, you know, you're going to come back this next year or not, but um, I'm, I'm seeing some good things from everybody in this process. They'll take a picture here. They'll have a trophy presentation. They'll get a close-up for you in just a moment. And we'll see what's going to happen. There's a lot that's going to happen with the, you mean, like you said, the uh, the, uh, the uh, trophy and getting shoving some shirts and the whole deal. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's just as my as my son would say, and the, the buddies he coaches with, this is a this is a game for a ring. Yeah, that's what you get. You saw you, there was uh, some of the players kind of after they did uh, their uh, handshake kind of point to their ring finger you know on their hand and they, they know they know what it's about oh they do they're getting excited for it coaches are down talking to their their players parents are starting to gather around and again they lost the championship last year to st mary of the woods yeah. and they were able to at avenge that yeah, at, at their, their place, place. Yeah, yeah so it's been both times that's right the visitor has won in the championship game both years they've had it. So it's not just a guaranteed thing that the higher 
ranked or the higher seeded team is going to win. Right. And we're to see here's the trophy and the presentation. As they're getting up close, and here it comes. <laughs> and there they go. <laughs> the Crimson Wave Championship and the champions of the 2023 Midwest Sprint Football League with 31 points scored in the second half of the ball game. What an outstanding job by those guys. And again, they're passing out T-shirts and everything else as this goes. Their leaders grabbing this one, knowing that they have an opportunity to, to really celebrate. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those where you don't celebrate for one or two days. It's going to be like no, be a while. probably about a month, and then it's they'll get good. back to work again for St. Mary of the Woods. Don't be surprised if half of these guys or more show up in the weight room the next week or so. Oh, I believe that. Just how it works. That drive that you get from playing football hopefully carries you the rest of your life. And again, congratulations to Calumet College of St. Joe, the Midwest Sprint Football League champions in 2023. And with that, for my partner, Walter Gordon, I'm Herb King, we'll say so long and hope you tune in again for more sports action on Indiana Sports Network. This program is a copyrighted production of Indiana Sports Network and cannot be shown, reproduced, or redistributed in any way or in any form without prior written permission from Indiana Sports Network. You are watching St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football on Indiana Sports Network. Welcome to the beautiful historic campus of St. Mary of the Woods College.